Hello, hello, everybody. We are here to continue our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. Last time, we just had the emotional devastation of completing the main story of Explorers of Sky. And then I spent the next day afterwards listening to the music of the key scenes called like uh fate it's like something is ha it's like it has hands and fate in the title of that one song the music box and then of course don't ever forget the l the song that plays as the main character vanishes into light just i even listened to it a bit before this stream I still got teary eyed because of d d d jesus christ this game is obliterating my soul and of course, we're going to uh, skip uh, Here Comes Team Charm, I think it's called, and the latest special episode, because we have to know what happens next now. Granted, it is entirely possible that the post-game could be like uh, Rescue Teams, where it's not super obvious what you need to do to get everything in Diddly D, but uh, hopefully it won't be that bad, and we'll just have a decent flow of post-game story stuff. So let's go, let's go. As always, before we go, grand thank you to the people behind Expanded Sky, whose efforts made it a reality, because it is a fun old ROM hack. And I, once again, link to it forever within the link... Ah, yes, the link within the link. Eh. But the link to that mod, ROM hack, can be found in the description of the YouTube videos and streams of this here game. But either way, let's -a go and see what happened next. As a result of Neon and Silas's heroic actions, the destruction of time was stopped, and peace returned to the world of Pokemon. Of course, not everything returned to normal right away. Some places remained where time was still out of control. But overall, things were becoming better everywhere. As for Neon and Silas, they returned to Wigglytuff's guild and fell back into their daily routine of vigorous training. I kind of wish that we could have seen the, re like, reunion. Everyone was like, oh my god, we thought you were dead. But oh well. One morning, several months later. So that kind of means that, like, <laughs> because obviously we, as a team, lost light were at the guild for a decent bit, let's say a few months. Then, Neon the Zoro just fucking died, and Silas was kind of alone on Team Lost Light for a few months. Then we returned, and now even more months went by. So it's been like a year in universe or something. What? Graduation? That's right! Congratulations from the guild! If you graduate, you can leave the guild. You'll be rid of the harsh daily training program too. Of course, that all depends on your passing the graduation exam. You know, I kind of forgot that we were apprentices of the guild. Like, because I guess technically this... Actually, that's kind of interesting. Because in Rescue Team, the, the teams that you made were rescue teams, obviously, but they were still under a, like, organization. But I guess in this case... There is still that. There are individual teams who aren't a part of the guild. But you still, like, can go on and, like, yeah, that's, that's kind of interesting. Where I guess you can join a guild as an apprentice team to, like, I wonder what that'll do for our money. Will we be able to keep all the dues if we graduate? Well, let's see. around a lot longer than those two. Hey, hey, why do Neon and Silas get to take graduation exam before we do? Because we saved the world and we have been through so much, Corfish. We have been through so much. This part got me thinking guilds are like colleges of this world. I could definitely see that. Or at the least, it's basically like, well, like a training program. It's there to kind of help you 
it's kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think. Because it's not, like, fully like a college. It's more like, I don't know. I guess kind of like a boot camp, but for the organization of explorers. They've already proven themselves to be worthy many times over. And after all, the audit Silas saved the world. It's only natural that they've earned the right to be tested. And that's how it goes. We will soon conduct the graduation exam. I expect you to be prepared for it. Loudry took the graduation exam last year. And promptly failed. Hey, hey. Get lost. So, what do we have to do for this graduation exam? I want you to explore the depths of a wood named Mystifying Forest. You should find a place called Luminous Spring there. Luminous Spring? Yep. It was where Pokemon once went to evolve. But maybe because of the time troubles we've had, no sunlight shines on the spring now. Now nothing can evolve there. We want you to travel to the Luminous Spring and return with its treasure. If you can bring the treasure back to the guild, you pass the exam. You will then be recognized as a fully trained exploration team and graduate from the guild with full honors. Okay, we have to bring back the treasure. Let's do this, Neon. But you have to watch out for one thing. There you'll find a frighteningly strong enemy. The Grandmaster of All Things Bad lives there. The Grandmaster of All Things Bad? Yep, the Grandmaster is terribly wicked. It's a horrifying presence that no one would ever want to meet. So, good luck with that! What, huh? That will do for the morning briefing. All right, everyone, let's get down to work. Hooray! <laughs> Enjoy evolving members. I basically have nobody on my team. Because <laughs> I just like... Uh, it's my complacent gaming syndrome. I'm just like, eh, screw it. I just have my main people. <laughs> Silas and Neon. What do we do, Neon? The Grandmaster of all things bad. Hey, Loudred. Loudred, you took the graduation exam last year, didn't you? There's something we'd like to know. Can you tell us what the Grandmaster of All Things Bad was like? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's the guild rule. I can't talk about it. But I will tell you this. You're in for a dreadful, terrifying time. What I went through, even now, when I finally let myself remember it. Whoa! Uh... Loudra didn't tell us anything useful. We'll just have to do our best to graduate on our own. Let's go to Treasure Town and get ready. Do, do. Excuse me, the Grandmaster of all things bad. I, I really can't tell you. Please, I just can't. I'm so sorry. That, thinking about it even now. Ah! What about you? <laughs> Hey, you two. The graduation exam will put you through the ringer. Don't be flattened. <laughs> I don't think I have room to swap in my inventory. First things first, we <laughs> have to go and do things. Because I know I have a few characters in my exploration team, but I think it's like four, maybe five, and most of those were gotten by drinking gummy juice. Huh? The Grand Master of all things bad? Oof! You know I haven't been at the guild much longer than you are. I couldn't tell you all about graduation exam if I wanted to, I swear. I'm sorry. Luminous Spring? Oh, that place is where Pokemon used to go to evolve. I wonder if the main team can evolve. I don't know. I know they couldn't rescue team, but I don't know about here. For some reason, no sunlight falls on Luminous Spring. Huh? Why is that? Well, why would I know? Fair enough. Why would he know? Do, 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 do. I guess I can take a look at what jobs we could do. Rescue Pincer in Northern Desert for an unknown reward. I'm interested. I'm interested. <laughs> Just note that difficulty curve is high. I'm level 50 with four members, and I still struggle super rank. All right. Shall... Shall be wary. 
swindling Claydol's escape. For 400 points, Jesus. Hmm, they. Amphros. Hmm. And what's that about, like, northern... Ah, uh, it's northern desert, not northern plain. Oh, wait, no, northern desert. I think I could maybe take it. <laughs> like the super rank for my team. I can only imagine. The Grandmaster of all things bad? Nope, never heard of him. The Grandmaster of all things bad? What? <laughs> I've never heard of that. The Grandmaster of all things bad? So there's plenty we don't know about the world. It makes it that much more rewarding to be an exploration team. Oh, there's something else. We heard this from the other teams. They told us about some newly discovered dungeons. So while Pokemon in them seem more intelligent, they've learned to use items, and they're smarter in the ways the, they move and attack. So your team should keep that in mind when you're going into new dungeons. So we might try Northern Plains before doo-dooing anything. Oh, you want to know about the Grandmaster of all things bad? Let me put it as simply, eek! <laughs> Good luck on the graduation exam! Hey, hey, hey! Well, first things we're gonna do is we're definitely going to do a whole bunch of recycling. Ah, thanks to your hard work saving the world, I can still go on leisurely explorations. Thank you so much. While I was out on an exploration, something impossible happened to the world. Or so I hear. He missed it all. He's like the Donna Noble of this world. Start with three stars. You're high enough, you'll uh, need the items. Well, definitely do that. Maybe it's too late to say it, but uh, n now I know the rumor about the world being at stake was true. But your team stopped it right. I'm truly grateful. It's thanks to you guys that I'm even able to sit here and uh, here enjoying such delicious drinks. Thanks, Team Lost Light. That's cool. They actually call this by name. Well, first thing first, we'll get rid of any gummies we have here. Black gummy for me. So I can become super intelligent. Yes. Add the black gummy. That's right! Shake it this way, shake it that way. And stir it all around, and it's done! Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Ooh, survivalist! I wonder what that does. You technically have had that gummy for months. That is true, because of the time skips. So it's more like Silas kept it all these months. And then I came back, we kept it even more. Ooh, power pitcher. So, yeah, just like, for months and months, like, that's like a half-year-old gummy there. Then again, we get these gummies from dungeons, and we just pick them up off the floor. Seems food doesn't expire. Like, look at all the apples in our storage. Oh, another one. Sure, you can join our team, I guess. We don't have a hop-up. Sure. No. Go on, hop -ip. get out of here. I'm just here to drink gummies. That is my primary recruitment method, apparently. Drinking gummies at a bar. It's just... I don't know why. Why would you see, like, a rescue, like, an exploration team just drinking gummies at the bar, and then you're just like, I want to join them. We got a new offer. Sure, what is it? Iron. Sure. I'll take iron. And plus, we'll get rid of that offer notification. Do, 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 Hmm. If I had three, I would get that Reviver Seed, but let's do a shitload of, uh, frickin' recycling. Let's see. Yeah. 
Sure, we'll redeem it. Let's go for red. Are we winner? Are we loser? Well, will this be our first win gamble after a year? No. We lose. We saved the world, you know. <laughs> well, I guess we can get that reviver seat now. <laughs> it's like they heard me. So sure. <laughs> also, I think we're the only ones like holding up the backbone of the recycling industry. Because in all the months that we've been gone. Oh, hey, things. But to complete my thought, in all the months that, like, I was gone, and Silas is here, in all the months that we've been back, no, no, like, new recycle discoveries. Oh, Silas and Neon, hi! Uh, hey, T Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring. What's going on? Are you going out somewhere? Yep, we're going off to Mystifying Forest now. What? Mystifying Forest? But isn't it dangerous there? Haven't you heard? The Grandmaster of all things bad is supposed to be there. Oh, Silas, you fool. <laughs> You'd think that somebody would have heard about this. Maybe he's just there purely to attack guild members because he just has a grudge against us. Or who knows? May oh, maybe it's uh, the diddly guy. Maybe it's, uh, <laughs> you know what would be hilarious? You know what would be just absolutely grand? I forget his name. Wigglytuff's master from Igglybuff the Prodigy. What if he's like in contact with Wigglytuff and he plays the part of like the grand master of all things bad to test graduates from the Wigglytuff guild? I think that would be cool. You know, I've chugged about five red gummies, have never got a Pokemon being like, hey, I want to join uh, Yolo, uh, Yolo and Apollo. I don't know why. That is like the fourth time that some random schmuck just like, I like the way that you drink gummy juice. Let me put my life on the line for you. The Grandmaster of all things bad. I've never heard of anything like that. You're sure you're not making a mistake? We, we go play Mr. Fine Forest often. We've never seen or even heard of a Grandmaster. You must have misheard a bad rumor or something. Let's go. Bye. Wasn't he Armaldo? Yes, Armaldo. So the more we hear, it seems like, yeah, only guild people know about the Grand Master of all things bad. Again, it would be hilarious if it turns out that it's like Armaldo helping out Wigglytuff to scare straight the graduates. Something's not right. That doesn't sound anything like what Wigglytuff said. It's not as if we can do anything about it. Let's get ready and go out to the Mystifying Forest. I'll take all my money so that we can, like, I don't know, buy stuff. Thank you, Duskull. You two are great! You're the team that went to the Hidden Land and stopped the planet's paralysis? Thank you for saving the world! The Grandmaster of all things bad? I'm sorry, I've never heard of such a creature. Good morning, Silas and Neon! I've heard you're taking the guild's graduation exam. Now I hear that Weekly Tough's guild is an especially tough exam. Oh, but you're up to it, I'm sure. And plus, it would also kind of mirror Igglybuff the Prodigy as well if Armaldo was helping Wigglytuff out by playing this role as a graduation exam. Because he lived in a forest being a creepy creature for a while. You did it! That's wonderful! Thank you so much! You've stopped the planet's paralysis! How incredible! Thank you! You've brought peace to the world at last! Thank you! Ba -ba -da. How about Vigoroff? Yo! I heard what's going on with you two! You're taking- <laughs> I heard that you're fucking! You're taking the guild's graduation exam! You give it your all! Welcome to the Kekleon shop! ba ba -dee. I want that Reviver Seed. Give me that. Well, you're going to be very surprised with the Grandmaster of all things bad. All right. Either way, I'm interested to see. Maybe it's a legendary. Maybe it's Armaldo. 
Maybe it's Chatot in drag. I don't know. Brick break? Can the boy learn that? Move shatters the target's reflector light screen and, and does damage. He can learn it, but how much damage does it do? One, two, three, six damage for hit ratio. I wish that I knew the power points for it. Hello there. Hello, Mama Kangaskhan, darling. Do 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 Hey, hey! I like to take any, like, boxes that we have here. Let's ship shaped up. Oh, only two boxes? Well. Do, 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 do. Thank you very much, Mama Kangaskhan. This is our two appraisal. Appraisal. Let me appraisal and begin. Quick, quick, qua! Qua, qua! And so it is revealed within the boxes were... A Chim Hair, a Bulba Fang, a Charis Fang, a Reviver Seed, a Happy Card, a Pink Gummy! Ah, uh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Dude. I like how happy Kangaskhan looks when she sees us. It's like, oh, it's so happy to see you. Let's see. Let's see. Because I was. Uh, is there anything here that I want to like take out and sell? Or hey, hey. Hmm. I guess I'll take a pure seed just so we can. And let's see. Do we have any sleep seeds? We have. We'll take a sleep seed for the outlaw because we're not going to immediately go do the graduation exam. Well, let's go check out Sharpedo Bluff. I wonder if, like, the partner and the hero just come out to hang at Sharpedo Bluff when they have free time. Get away from the world. What? Do I know the Grand Master of all things bad? Of course. You think that we are ignorant of such things. What? You wish to know what we know before the graduation exam. We should tell you of that of all things. No! <laughs> Actually, I, I'm kind of interested to do the graduation exam just off the bat. Hmm, how many Reviver Seeds do we have? I, I'm full. Up oh, first things first. Oh, we should also look and see if we have any gummies in there that we want to take. Hmm, I thought I had more gummies, but well. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to... Bup, bup, bup. Let's see. Do we have any gummies that are just in the storage? Ah, green gummy. I'll take that green gummy. And now we'll go do more recycling and gummy juicing at Spinda's. Wait. Uh, yeah, we'd like to store the vast majority of our money. And I'm keeping the other money so that we can run and check out with Crow Gunk. And see if there's anything good for me in his place. The green gummy for Silas, boy. Oh yeah, and I also need to check out the IQs abilities that we just unlocked. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this drink. They don't clash, instead they blend together. He got super IQ'd. Why do I hear Papyrus of Duck Trio? I guess Undertale keeps coming back to me. I did play Undertale on stream like a long time ago. <laughs> and Papyrus! That's not the voice I gave him, it's been so long. <laughs> Cause like I gave him some kind of voice like that. So how much of the post game do you intend to do? I don't know. Because I don't know much about the post-game. 
but basically, I plan to at least give it all a decent shot. And if I run into trouble, I'll, like, look up how to begin activating post-game stuff. Like, what are the triggers? Like, what do I need to do to get the story to start or unlock certain things? Because, like, if it's just, hey, go here and fight a legendary, I'll be very bored. But if there's actual story stuff, I will be interested. Like, if there's actually a mini story that goes on, I will be super duper into that. So yeah, I will give it a good old college try, I guess is what I'd say. And then, yeah, we'll just go on vibes. Basically. I should probably sell some of these. Redeem blue. Because that was the, my main problem with the. Oh, whoa! Oh! Wait, don't tell me! Is it a big win? Don't tell me! Aw. Aw, why would you do that to me? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> you had me go, and I was about to proclaim to send in the damn and lobsters. Why would that be a thing? That's harsh, man. <laughs> At first, I was just like, wait a minute. Are they going to give it to me? And then they just blast. Oh, wait. We, we forgot to actually check out Sharpedo Bluff. Like, I know we talked to Jug Trio, but we didn't actually go into Sharpedo Bluff. Again, I think it'd be a neat place for the hero and partner to just hang out. Brick Break has 16, 16 power points. Hmm. Again, I like that this is just a place we can go now. Again, I think it would have been interesting if that place was, like, introduced earlier, and it's just, like, the partner showing, like, hey, I can trust you with my, my home. Although it is kind of interesting that, well, it depends how far away Sharpedo Bluff is from Treasure Town. Come on, game, that's just horrible. Yeah, I've had- at least I've had one big win, and they sent in the dancing Ludicolo before. Oh! Huh? I'm glad you were able to halt Temporal Tower's destruction, and Neon e even returned safely. I'm delighted to hear it. Finally, the world is at peace. Your exploration team is back in action, too. Please tell me whenever you want to go to the Hidden Land again. That's neat. That's cool. I like that. Well, we're gonna go uh, to Krogunk to see if there's anything there to grab. And then I guess we'll try the graduation. Yes, I would like to swap. Rialu Tail again. Not, uh, well, at least... Hmm, interesting. <laughs> we could get a higher level diddly D for a Swampert. We have, like, three Rialu Tail. We don't need another one. Hmm. Although, I guess, like, I don't know. Because I don't know, like, what kind of Pokemon we can even recruit. Like, from these. Wait, Dragon Sash. Dratini. During a fog condition, boosts evasiveness by two levels. For five exclusive items, Yon Mega Bow. Absorbs damage from rock type moves. What's Firm Hat? Ah, Parasect. I think I already looked at that, but then I forgot. Where's my upper level Rialu stuff? Where? I have yet to get any dark type Zoroa. Stuff. I'm angry. Come here. But yes, I do believe that just because we can, we shall first things first save. 
And I guess we'll head off to the place and see if we can do some graduation. Let's just take a look at our Diddly D defense scarf, silver bow. We've got quite a few apples. We've got some pure seeds, a bunch of reviver seeds because paranoia. And the iron. I'm going to have to remember to use the iron when we get there. Let's go to the mystifying forest. If we get there, we have to fight for Sering and his child. Or maybe it's Big Brother. They did say they'd go there to play. This is the entrance to the mystifying forest. I have no idea what we're going to see in there. But this is our mission. Get to the deepest part of the forest and bring back the treasure. That's our graduation exam. Let's pass this exam and graduate from the guild. Let's not blow this, Neon. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a bay leaf and 12 frigadine. 12, 12. Oh, that's not good. These things are hefty and don't give much experience. At least I have pure seeds for inevitable monster houses. Interesting. I don't care about bands too much. I have a bow. I have rock. I have rock. Damn it. Yeah, so these things are beefy. Actually, speaking of beefy, I need to eat my iron. And I think I should do it because I'm usually the one in front. Plus, he has defense bow. Oh, hey. And this guy's doing, like, no damage. We did it, guys. We killed Skunk Tank. Well, I guess that explains where a decent chunk of, like, the items are in the shop. I just recognize that. Well, you're just a little bitch, aren't you? A doom seed? What? What is a doom seed? Oh, lowers level by one? A food item that reduces the Pokemon's level by one. Why would you want to do that? Like. Why? That just, that seems weird. Yeah, don't eat that. Exactly. I'm not gonna fucking eat that. It seems like madness. Madness. Madness! Madness. Madness! Throw it at the enemy. Alright, then I guess we're gonna throw it at the, uh, Emperor of Doom or whatever. What was his name? Uh, the Grand Master of All Things Bad. Hello, Raticate. I don't think we've seen a Raticate this in- You need to die. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I was scared of that thing. I think I, I think it was because of the Raticate doing a bunch of damage to me. Funnily enough, wasn't a Doom Seed the thing that Bidoof almost gave uh, Loudred all the way back in his special episode? Why are you doing that? Oh, you're just setting traps, you bastard. Like, why would you do that? That's illegal. And it Another Doom Seed? Why? Alright. Okay. I don't even... Will you please die? I need to use my agility more, I think. Dive. Another HM. Again. I swear the rescue team team would be like, ah, oh, you, you spoiled, like, exploration team members. You just get HMs in dungeons. We had to work for ours. Maybe now I should begin 
supporting heal seeds for all the toxics I'm going to be running into, I guess. If I wanted to bounce, I could just... Please die. How dare you miss multiple times. Multiple times, I say once. Ten items. There's either a shop here or death. Or maybe just decent amount of items on the floor for no reason. Gravel rock. Some... Oh, hey, it's a tortwig. You fucker. You bastard. Nine. All right, so there are enemies here that are, like, super scary. Pass scarf? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think I read about it earlier. I think we got a pass scarf. And it's just like, oh, passes things on, I think. Let's see. Pass scarf. Yeah, passes on effects of moves. Info. Held item that causes the Pokemon to shrug off any effects from moves and pass it on to an adjacent Pokemon, but also makes the Pokemon's belly go down every time it happens. Note, the effects of some moves can't be passed. And then my brain just kind of goes, well, then what's the point? <laughs> That basically is just the game saying, if we want you to be affected by something, we will. Which, again, what is the point? Thank God that we haven't been affected by Toxic this time around. Else that would have been a nightmare to go all the way around. Hello, Execute. And nine items on this floor. I'm used to enemies on a floor being like... Oh yeah, that reminds me. What are the th the IQs that we got? Because he got Power Pitcher. What's that? Throwing power is boosted, so thrown or hurled items inflict greater damage. Man, I wish I had that. i throw frickin' what, Tactics Meeting. Tactics for everyone. Interesting. And then I got Survivalist. Fills up more than usual from eating. It may also resist the bad effects of grimy food. Cool. Interesting, interesting. So I am an apple god. But yeah, I was going to say before I remembered. I'm used to like enemies and dungeons kind of being somewhat uniform, so it's kind of weird that enemies are going all over the place. Like, these guys, one basic attack, they're dead. Some other enemies, like, three normal, like, three actual attacks. It's crazy. And I'm also really liking the music here. Die. And it's giving us a lot of gravel rocks. But yeah, I'm just... I am just awaiting my doom at the hands of a... Uh... A monster house. One of these days. And again, I still think it's a little weird that the RNG... Has, like... Monster houses appear... Almost sequentially. I just think that's weird. Like, I feel... Oh, let's see. We have 19. If we eat a normal apple, that goes up to 74. Not sure if that's more than a normal apple tends to give. I'm bad at math off the top of my head. Oh. You bastard. Die. Guess I shall eat an orange berry. Nom nom nom. Ooh, it's a box. It's a pretty box. Imagine if that room... So, you bastard. Several went bad. Several, you say. That's a lot of apples you just destroyed, you fucker.
Maybe I can, like, hold on. Well, then again, if I do it smartly and only eat grimy food at, like, the end of dungeon levels, I should be able to eat it and move on to the next level. And plus, I also have survivalists, so I can shrug off some. Oh, you bastard. Please stop. Am I going to have to do the thing where when I'm in rooms I have to attack every single step? Because I think attacking reveals the diddly dees, but still, that's lame to me. And then I think those are free spaces. Because I think that's the strategy. Because I've noticed in the past games that if you attack a space with, like, an enemy on it and they didn't activate the trap, then the trap will show while not being activated. You know, I kind of wish we had little interactions like cutscenes, like if you personally would change the outcome. That would be interesting. You bastard. I was- uh, I almost wanted to see- oh, give me that. Hmm. Get rid of... That. We don't want sticks. But yeah, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game where there's, like, choices could be interesting. Or at least give you the ability to choose things. So that might be neat. Maybe, maybe. Uh, meant personally. I understand. <laughs> Autocorrect is here for evil. Yeah, you're the super duper leveled up. You need to be killed. Well, I guess not really leveled up, but you're evolved. Then again, this is supposed to lead to the place where Pokemon evolve, so that makes sense. Warp seed, don't really care. Luckily, I think the grimy, like the sticky thing, goes away when you leave, I think. Or did they change that because of the secret rooms? The secret marketplace that I, like, found once. But yep, this is definitely a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon post-game, because... Nightmare, nightmare, traps galore. I forgot that you still have that active. And you did good, boy. I leveled up, I'll do better now! Ah, uh, now we're to the point where we only get ones on our stats. Oh no. Hey, let's talk. We should be cautious, Neon. How about that? Moves. We'll switch that on when we get to the fight, maybe. Having to deal with traps is annoying. Hmm. Do, we, do we care about pure seed? Because we have a decent amount of pure seeds, I think. Then again, there's probably something in my... Let's see. There's probably something that I don't mind getting rid of. Like maybe the grimy food. At least some of the traps fail to work sometimes. But still. Ah, that had a lot of health. Hmm. Like, 
We've already gotten a brine seed. But man, I can't wait till I get like the IQ move that's just, hey, you don't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> That's just like, you can walk onto a trap and it won't activate. And it's only subsequent diddly dees. What's Blinker even do again? Gives Blinker status effect. Makes it unable to see other Pokemon unclaimed items and ground. Interesting. Don't really care, though. Perfect time to eat some grimy food. <laughs> Immediately recovered from paralysis. 17 fucking items on this floor. I have half a mind to make a save state. Dang it. I kind of wish that, I don't know. Damn it. So many traps in a single room. How dare you. Like, I would want to see myself being afraid of water, and Apollo with a partner teaching them to not be afraid of water. It would make cutscenes, like, uh, yeah, more lively depending on what your species is. Yeah, that would be cool. Hmm, I wonder what that, like, icon is. Is it just like a you can't... Yeah, you can't use it, I guess. Interesting. Maybe it's grimy. What? Oh, Firestone. And what's this? A King's Rock. An impressive icon that conveys a kingly nobility it allows certain Pokemon to evolve. And then Thunderstone, Thunderstone, Waterstone, interesting. Get Trap Buster Orbs. Maybe. And he's actually on another... Another orb, or not another orb, but like another... Well, that was weird. Okay, apparently those guys just have the innate ability to explode when dying. That's a bit rude. It's a mission item, probably, but we don't have any missions for this place. Like, that would actually be interesting if there were missions like that. Where you could just find mission items in the field at random. But no, this is a non-mission item. Like, diddly do. Oh, there is? Huh. I didn't expect there to be. We always take gummies. What do we throw away? We have a lot of pure seeds. And in fact, a lot of orange berries. Hmm. I guess we'll swap you out. We always want these because maybe we get cool stuff. Must kill the Bailey. Leave the boy alone. Well, maybe we should, like, stock up on Trap Buster Orbs. Let me see. What's that one grimy? Because I assume that it's... Well, that one, at least, was made grimy by something. Similar to my grime, or not grimy, but the uh, sticky. I believe that's what it is. And nom nom on the grimy food. You fool. I'm right at the exit. And I'll just smack down this poor Metapod. 
Maybe explore around for items. And then at this point, maybe I should swap to using gravel rocks as my set item. Why do you have so much health? Do you have as much health as me? That should be illegal. Well, thank God that that was already basically at the end of its PP life anyway. Aha, you fool. Get crunched on, idiot. Quit bombing the boy. <laughs> Don't blow up my boyfriend. Hello, Teddy Ursa. We killed you. It was right at the end anyway. Oh, Mystifying Forest Clearing. Well, <laughs> it's like that old animation thing. Something's gonna happen with that pile of, like, leaves. I think we've come quite deep. Luminous Spring can't be too much farther. Oh, Silas, Neon! I'm scared of Pokemon that can throw items holding Doom Seeds. Honestly, I might just have to start carrying Pure Seeds just in case that happens. It says, Pokemon picked up Doom Seed. I immediately use Pure Seed to get out of there. But uh, remember to stay hydrated. Drink your tea, everybody. Go kill God. Hey, Titty Ursa and Ursarang. You're here too. Yep. We often come here to play, so how's it going? Did you see your Grandmaster of all things bad? No, nothing like that. See, I told you you only heard a rumor. Why are you two here? Are you in search of that Grandmaster? No, we're not. We're searching for Luminous Spring. Oh, Luminous Spring? That's just up ahead here. What? Really? In fact, we were on our way there. Want to come with us? Yeah, come with us if you want. How convenient they walked around it. <laughs> yeah, let's go with them, Neon. It's a Team Rocket pitfall. Ah! Ow, ow! How many floors did we just fall? Like, like human floors. How how big was the distance? We're sturdy. Th this is... Was that a pitfall trap? We fell down a pitfall trap. That's what happened to us. Ah! The hole! The hole's closing up! I think we've been had by Ursa Ring and Teddy Ursa. They, they betrayed us. Ah! It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Are we trapped? <laughs> what? Someone's here. Who is it? Who are you? Welcome to the world of darkness. Hey, Gengar took us there one time. Well, at least the rescue team got taken there by Gengar once. I am the Grand Master of all things bad. What? The g g g Grand Master of all things bad? Hmm. Not only the Grand Master, but more of us besides. A bunch of us minions to the Grand Master here. You can't see us in the dark, but you're completely surrounded. <laughs> Coming to our lairs, the last mistake you will ever make. I already caught Arceus. <laughs> That's funny. That is. I wonder if that would be interesting, like in a mystery dungeon game. You just recruit God. I already caught Arceus, Neon, and made him a pet. <laughs> You're not walking out of here. Prepare to... Alrighty then! What? Uh... What? Wigglytuff? And everyone else? What's going on here? Hey! Bidoof! Why did you take the cover off? Uh, what? Whoops. But I thought 
thought it'd be too dark down there for you all, so I opened it up. Maybe I did something I shouldn't have? Uh, helping out with the graduation exam and all. This is all so new to me, I don't have the foggiest idea about what I should be doing. <laughs> oh, what a farce! Listen, Wigglytuff, can you please tell us what's going on? <laughs> Grandmaster, who's Wigglytuff? What? I am the Grandmaster. I know nothing of your so-called Wigglytuff. What? Uh, that's right, and we're the Grandmaster's minions. Oh my gosh, that's so right. I do still find it funny that they just replace their names with minion. I don't know any Pokemon named Sunflora. Hey, hey, hey! What's going on here? Coming to our lair is the last mistake you will ever make. You're not walking out of here. Prepare to face the tail that is the Grandmaster of all things bad. You tough! All right, then. <laughs> I... This is... This is the minigame music. It's playing the minigame music. Well, I guess, um... <laughs> Wigglytuff is a theater person. They continue if they... <laughs> they can continue if the set breaks. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll throw a doom seat at the Grandmaster, like I said. Huh, that actually worked. Oh, poor Waldron. Yeah, I should probably yeah do that myself. You bastard! At least it's not mine. If I lost my bow because of that, Corefish. Let's see. Uh, I think you. Jesus. All right, double slap. Again, I feel like agility isn't working all that well. At least I brought a bunch of reviver seeds. All right, I think you need to die, Grandmaster. And that was a critical hit, too, you bastard. Again. Well, at least I died, so maybe I should do... Agility. Yeah, you keep healing, Sunflora. Oh, that's mean. But again, it's just the fact that it's using the minigame music. I wish I would wake up. Of course you used it on the one that could do that. Silas. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. God, how, how much health do you have? And now I gotta have to do my... Agility again. Oh, <laughs> Wiggly... <laughs> Well, that makes sense for, for Chadot. Chadot would defend Wigglytuff with his life. Ow. 
Ow. Why is Petal Dance so mean? Why can you do it so many times? And of course, infatuated. Damn. At least I can get super, like, all the infatuation out of the way for the most part with my agility. But Jesus. Of course now you're dead. Wow, I think we barely scraped by in the end. wanted him to pick up his defense scarf. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We scraped by by using all of our reviver seeds. I got rid of the uh, guild before Wigglytuff. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> yeah, it's just like I was. Go I went sun, sun cost fallacy on Wigglytuff. Especially because it's like, oh, I'm going to paralyze it. Oh, I'm going to go make you go to sleep. I have a whole multi-hit move that does a lot of damage. I was like, fine, I'll get rid of you. And then he just would not die. They got me. Everyone, run away. Wee! Squawk! Eek! Hey, hey, hey! Phew. What was all that about, I wonder? Well, I guess we're done here. We should move on. Let's go on to Luminous Spring. Compared to this, he was one level lower, even. <laughs> Again, I wonder if, like, the player, character, and partner can evolve or not. Maybe a super late game, I don't know. Because on the one hand, they could fix the problem of Rescue Team by having it so that the player characters can't evolve. Simplify things. But it also seems like they went and made it so that da, 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 went and made it so that uh, every Pokemon seems to have like portraits anyway so I don't know it gets more difficult to start ranking up <laughs> yep hey Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring oh it's you what happened to you two I thought you two were tagging along right behind us uh something held us up anyway what's going on well see there's a treasure box here there wasn't a treasure box here before I'm gonna open it, but I'm also getting a creepy feeling from it. <laughs> Please, this is a warning. I'll definitely do more, like, normal stuff, like leveling up and ranking up to get, like, rewards. You know, it's be it'd be nasty if it's a booby trap or something. So we've been debating whether we should open it or leave it. Well then, we'll open it. You see, we got sent here for the guild's graduation exam. We were told to bring back the treasure from here. That's it. That box must be something to do with your exam. You guys should open it. Can I get you to do this, Neon? <laughs> I am the unofficial leader of our team. I think it would probably be okay, but you never know. It could be a trap. If I can get the dimensional scream to activate, that would be a hilarious way of just abusing the dimensional scream. <laughs> that may give me a better idea if it's the treasure box is safe or not. Neon touched the treasure box. Oh, hey, it's activating. The dizziness. Man, it's been months since this activated. And Wigglytuff planting the evidence. At night. That's hilarious. It was Wigglytuff that put the treasure here. That means inside this treasure box... It, open the treasure box. Perfect apple. This is... It's a perfect apple. The treasure of Luminous Spring... It was a perfect apple. A perfect apple as the treasure. It suits Wigglytuff, I guess. 
What? Ah! What was that? Oh, Luminous Spring is lighting up. Hey, Teddy Ursa, you want to become an Ursa Ring? What's that? Light. Light is shining down. Oh, then maybe. Did Luminous Spring regain its power? Those that seek awakening. Well, who's saying that? The resumption of time has brought light here again. If you seek evolution, step forward. I knew it! I knew that Luminous Spring would be revived. Good for you, Teddy Ursa! You've been looking forward to evolution for a long time! Yep. Evolution? Oh, that's right, Wigglytuff mentioned it before. <laughs> the five minute ago flashback. Luminous Spring? Yep, it was where Pokemon once went to evolve. But maybe because of the time troubles we had, no sunlight shines on the spring now. Now nothing can evolve there. Wigglytuff also said this is where Pokemon would come to evolve. But what is evolution? Well, you don't know what evolution is. What it means to evolve. Some kinds of Pokemon can evolve if specific conditions are met first. When a Pokemon evolves, its appearance changes and sometimes drastically. Really? Your appearance changes? That's right! And it may not just be how you look that changes either. When you evolve, sometimes your form and abilities can even change. How about that? Really? Yep. I've wanted to get stronger, so I've been hoping that to evolve for a whole for a long time. I'll try it right away. Those that seek awakening, this is Luminous Spring. Do you seek to evolve? Yep, please. Do you need an item to do so? Nope, I don't need one. So be it. Seeker of Awakening, let us begin. Something is happening to Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa's appearance is changing. And now there's two Ursa Ring. Ah! Teddy Ursa looks just like Ursa Ring now. Yay! Hey, Ursa Ring, I've evolved. Congratulations. All the leveling up you went through finally paid off. Now it's hard to tell us apart, but good for you. Let's try evolving too, Neon. I'll try first. Those that seek awakening, this is Luminous Spring. Do you seek to evolve? Yes, I want to evolve. Please, oh, this is so exciting. Do you need an item to do so? An item? I don't know. Um, no, no item for me. So be it. Seeker of Awakening, let us begin. Oh, uh, I think the... Interesting. No. Impossible. You may not evolve. What? Why not? Why can't I evolve? Is it maybe because I haven't met my requirements for evolving? No. That is not it. It is not merely a problem of not meeting requirements. Then... why? Teddy Ursa was able to evolve. Why can't I evolve? Why can you not evolve? It may be influenced by a distortion in the fabric of space. Distortion? The fabric of space? Why should that should be, I do not know. But your presence is somehow related to the distortion of space itself. And as a result of that, you cannot evolve. What, is he secretly Palkia or something? No, it is not only you. There is yet another. The one behind you is also forbidden its evolution. What? Neon too? What? Me too? That is all that I can tell. This is Luminous Spring. If you seek new evolution, then you shall return. Looks like it's just not me. I guess you can't evolve either, Neon. I don't understand why we can't evolve, though. Anyway, we have the perfect apple that was in the treasure box. We should go back to the guild with it. I do like that they put that out immediately. That they're like, sorry you, you can't evolve. But like, maybe it's a super late game thing. That could be cool. <laughs> you got a part of Giratina Soul, Silas? That would be amusing. You've passed the exam! Where'd the confetti come from? Congratulations! You two have passed the guild's graduation exam. You did it! Oh, not celebrating? Are you maybe not happy? Well, yes, I'm happy, but it hasn't really registered. 
I don't think we've accomplished anything that special. That's not true at all. Don't you understand that what you two did was incredible? You went and brought back a fantastic treasure and a perfect apple. But even better than that, you defeated that horrifying Grandmaster of all things bad, didn't you? Uh, but that's what I don't understand. Wigglytuff, how could you know that we defeated the Grandmaster of all things bad? Um, we heard it somewhere? Besides, that bad Grandmaster... Wigglytuff, wasn't that just you? Huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. G Grandmaster of all things bad. Me too. I know nothing. They're the Grandmaster's minions. What are they? Hey, hey, me too. Eek, I don't know any minions. <laughs> Everyone, what's going on? When I'm bored, I make Pokemon Mystery Dungeon memes. Now that's a way to live. I don't- I'm not really one for memes most of the time. Like, making memes. Reading memes are funny. Making memes, hard. Anyway, you two have now officially graduated from the guild. From now on, you will no longer be bound by the guild's strict regulations. You'll be free to operate as an exploration team totally on your own. Oh, right! Does that mean from now on? That we get to keep all the reward money from the jobs? And we don't need to share with the guild? Or is that gonna stay? <laughs> that's excellent, Neon! No, unfortunately for you, that aspect doesn't change at all. Ah, that's mean. As before, you will still have to give most of the money to the guild. What? But why? Graduation for the guild means you're still affiliated with us. Your team, Lost Light, can operate only because of this guild. So you need to accept that as part of being an exploration team. It's like a pyramid scheme. Uh, but I mean... It's not like anything's changed from before. Eek! You don't understand. Graduating from the guild is extraordinary. That's right! I should know even I couldn't pass the graduation exam. <laughs> anyway, you two have passed the exam with flying colors. I hope you'll keep up your great work as explorers. Wiggly tough. Congratulations, Silas and Neon. Oh my gosh, how wonderful! Hey, hey, hey! I'm so happy for you all. I'm, I'm... Drop in on your old friends from now and then. Everyone, congratulations, Team Lost Light. Oh, everyone. Thank you, everyone. The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. Oh, yes, more treasure bag. Yay! Also, startup funds for the newly affiliated guild. 10,000 pokey. One more thing. Special episode in the future of darkness has been unlocked. Neat. I guess next time we might just do a special episode bonanza. And do two special episodes back to back, maybe. Or maybe we should play it safe and do, like, special episode diddly D, Then special episode diddly D in case uh, one special episode's longer for some reason. Congratulations, Team Lost Light. You graduated. Oh, it's the, it's the Sharpedo Bluff. Are we going to live there now? We're going to live here now! <laughs> Since we can't use our old room at the guild anymore, let's live here from now on. This whole idea of graduating hasn't sung it, sunk in much yet. But let's keep going on as an exploration team like we always have. From now on, this is Team Lost Light's new exploration base. Let's head to the guild and check out the bulletin board and outlaw notice board for jobs. It's a new beginning for us, Neon. Ah, quick advice. Because you've graduated from the guild, you may from now on ha save a record of your progress using your bed here. Ah, oh, new music! I like that. This is neat. That's kind of cool. Even though we still have to give all our money to <laughs> to the guild. Yo, you passed your graduation exam, did you? You did it! Congratulations! I recognize that the YouTube was something else, and I was right! Congratulations on graduating. You two are extraordinary. Do you know what they say about that guild? That they make it terribly hard for apprentices to graduate. <laughs> I mean, we had to beat up the entire guild to get out. Dude. And now we can carry 48 items. Doo -doo. 
And now we have like no no diddly dees. And I guess we'll keep the grimy food with us just so we can. Ah, yes, I've heard. You have completed the guild's graduation exam. How fantastic. We need all the money we can get. Or like all the... And I guess heal seed too, just because we can. You've graduated. Congratulations. We hope for your continued patronage and generosity. Just to get more cool things in here, I guess. Even though I'm probably never going to use all that much things. Good morning to you all. Even after you graduate from the guild, you can surely keep up with your exploring. Yep, yep. Huh? You are asking me where you ought to go exploring? Oof. Well, I wouldn't know how to answer that for you all. But you don't have to agree with me that there are still plenty of mysteries in this here world of ours. I'm sure that you all will want to probe and explore places like that. So keep checking the guild's two boards for jobs like always. After you two do more jobs, I bet something new will brew on the horizon. Yip, yip, I just can't shake that feeling. As for me, I need to work on graduating from the guild myself. Yes, I do. Here's to another good day of exploring. Yip, yip. I think that's the game, like, subtly hinting, hey, play the game normally for a bit and new stuff might show up. Yip, yeesh. Hey, Wormpole, isn't it great the world's back to peace and all? When things are this mellow, don't you find yourself getting hungry? What hungry? Eep, eep. So let me ask you a question. Try to guess what I really want to eat right now. Eesh. Wormple, can you guess what I most want to eat right now? I think this guy is just torturing his partner. Eep. That's that. Sh that should be illegal. You two, I commend you for graduating. And that's all he has to say. Let the appraisal begin. Quick. And so it is revealed. A Bidoof card, a green gummy, a plusle tail, a wide slash. Well, at least we got another gummy that we can nom nom on in the spinder shop. Can't wait till I get more, like, storage space. Also, if I really wanted to train, I could always do Marowak Dojo. Graduated from the guild, I hear. I'm guessing you, Lincoln, got you through, am I right? <laughs> kind of. Very much helped in many other ways. We've heard you graduated from the guild. Congratulations. Congratulations, Silas and Neon. Now then, uh, now and then I hear the sounds and tremors from Marowak Dojo. What's he doing in there? Yeah, it's me. I'm Ursaring. Well, that's obvious, isn't it? It's hard to tell us apart now. It can be annoying. Oh, Silas and Neon! How are you? It's me! Oh, I completely mixed them up. <laughs> Teddy Ursa! Oh, wait, now I'm Ursaring now. Oh, this is all so new and confusing. Eep, I'm happy you graduated. Congratulations. I hope you'll keep up your exploring. I haven't even been able to give you an egg at all. We've yet to get an egg for you. I congratulate you on your guild graduation. I do hope you continue to rank in money and allow me to hoard it. What even is your... your deal? We'll deposit all of that because we can. And now we have 30,000 pokey dollars. Oh, you. Oh, Neon, Silas. Hey, Chimiku. What's going on? Oh, Neon, Silas, congratulations on graduating from the guild. Team Lost Light now gets to operate in association with the guild, right? So your assembly privileges also change. Let the bell ring. A new special service is available to you. Really? Special service? What is it? But I also wonder if this means we won't be able to do the... 
Bobbidi ba, the mini game of sentry duty. I like that. So, what is this special service? Well, it's special. You can now change your leader before your team goes to a dungeon. The team leader? We can change the leader before going into a dungeon? Yes. Up to now, Neon was always the team leader on explorations, right? Now, because the guild is giving your team affiliate status, you can make any n member of Team Lost Light the leader before going into a dungeon. In other words, you can assemble a dungeon team from only Team Lost Light recruits. An exploration team made that way will still officially be recognized. Oh, I get it. So that means, if we plan to explore a dungeon where our current team will suffer type-based disadvantages, we can build a totally different team, even changing the team leader, so that we can gain type advantages instead. Absolutely. Of course, there are dungeons that only Neon and Silas may enter. I hope you make use of my new service. Anyway, good luck with your exploration team work. Visiting the guild, hey, hey! Make us glad to see you, hey, hey! Even after you graduate, you're free to look up jobs at the board and go after outlaws. So keep taking all those jobs, hey, hey! Time passes so quickly. It seems as if it were only yesterday that you two showed up to the guild. The two of you then, oh, you were adorable, oh my gosh! We're still adorable. Let's see. Yep, northern desert, northern desert. Any other northern deserts that we can do? Brian K. I can't get out. I need bodyguards. No, I don't think so. We also have landslide cave that we need to do. There's a Mount Horn A rank with an unknown reward. And then there's also another Mount Horn over here, I believe, but I think it was an escort. Yep, I need bodyguards. And all they give me is a gummy. Let's see, what other things do we have? We have Drenched, Craggy Coast, Foggy Forest, Landslide Cave. Hmm. Nothing here really interests me, so... Let's go down, though. Oh, hey, you two! Came to visit us, did you? What? You want to earn some money for pulling sentry duty? No, thank you. Oh, that's cool. We can actually do it whenever we want. <laughs> Welcome. Swamp seal, magic hat. Oh, that's for, like, yeah, ghastly. Darn it. Uh, but Rialu card, though. Slightly boost diddly -dee. So yeah, let's get that Rialu card. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess that Bidoof card and Plusle Tail. And now Silas has three items that make him super cool. you two. Good job. I'm delighted about your graduation from the guild. Now I'll expect you to keep on doing highly profitable jobs. The guild certainly appreciates the funding you provide. And let's check out Wigglytuff too. I don't think we've came in here for a while. Congratulations! You graduated from the guild! From now on, your team can explore independently from us. But if you have trouble deciding where you want to explore, you can always take on jobs listed here. I hope you'll keep exploring all on your own. is kind of neat. Like, the game begins with you joining the guild, and then the post-game begins with you, like, managing to graduate the guild. Ah, we finally found it! Zero Isle! Zero Isle is to the south of here, across the sea. That's where we're about to raid now. The mountains of treasures and gold in there. We mean to have it all. Well, if it isn't you two, it's been a long time. Sure has, Miss Weavile. I'm just happy we haven't had to fight you. Well, uh, thanks to your hard work. So yeah, nothing else changed here. Uh, we're here for more 
diddly d. Gummy time. Do 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 do. IQ time. Yes, it's big brain time. We're gonna become very smart, Silas, by getting sloshed. I just hope we don't get another recruit solely because of like, oh my god, you drink? Let me in. Our team is gonna be nothing but a bunch of drunkards. Suddenly mad. Oh, d this is the drink so wonderful, so amazing that I couldn't have made it if I tried. Unbelievable! Never before has a heavenly, super special, incredible miracle combination flavor like this been before experienced. Right now, right here, Neon is enjoying a flavor that is out of this world. L Coin Watcher. Interesting. And, oh, Max HP went up again. I think I'm the only one to get that super duper Omega awesomeness upwards. Like, I don't think Sh Silas has gotten that. Poor Silas. <laughs> Drunk Irish Pokemon. I wonder what the likelihood of getting that diddly D. Oh, he got Survivalist now. Cool. Even though I don't think... Well, I guess it does make a difference because he can be team leader now. Oh, got a new offer? What's the offer? Zinc. What's the info for Zinc? Special defense. Hmm. But that gets rid of all, rid of all our Orin berries. <sighs> ah, we don't really use Orin berries that much. And I'm sure we'll get more Orin berries in the future. A lot of apples. What's a switcher orb? Switches places of user. Useless to me. What's a trapper orb? Destroys all traps in the room with the user. If it was floor, that would actually be useful to me. God, we have so many, like, normal, like, chest items. Give us red. Send in the dancing lobsters, please. You teased us. It's a one shake, so we win normally. That's wonderful. Take your prize. <gasps> Dark Pulse! All right, we're definitely going to check that out. Even though I'm going to like make a safe state, I'm going to use it and just see how much power points it has. Maybe. We'll have to take a look and see. Because Dark Pulse, that's me. That's my move. Maybe I can remove Scratch for it. Maybe. Oh, but then that would get rid of, uh, I don't know. And I guess we can get rid of the grimy food as well. Then we'll just stock up on apples. Yes, I would like to redeem blue. Uh, where night slash? I have no idea. Is it a win? Oh, it's a big win. Well, no, it's a normal win. Big win is the dancing lobsters. Rock slide. <laughs> Imagine if they gave us night slash right then. I don't even know if this game has Night Slash. It's possible that... Because I don't know. I don't know much about nothing. I'm a fool. And let's redeem 
And go yellow. Three wins in a row. Big ol' big ol' win day. Damn it. Sadness. And we got a Max Elixir Consolation Prize. And we'll do one more recycling. Yes, so we can. We do what we want because we can. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 I probably use Ginseng to boost up my faint attack. I'll just get rid of some of these TMs that I'm not gonna use. Give me that red. Give me the power. Ah, it's another consolation prize. Then again, the consolation prizes are at least usually useful. I just I love this game. It's all good. It's just a fun, fun, fun old time. We'll keep the sleep seed for the bastard that we're going to have to beat down. And uh, we'll definitely also need some apples. Buy some apples! We'll take three apples with us. Thank you very much, Mama Kangaskhan. And now... We are going to first save back here at Torpedo Bluff. Again, very nice of Silas to lend us his home. I, oh, that's actually a funny thing. In the rescue team, the partner gave you a house. In this one, you live with your partner. Oh my god, they were roommates. I made a safe state, and now we're going to see Dark Pulse. Info. Ah, oh, the hit ratio is very low, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six damage. And can cause cringe. Oh, we don't care about that. Ah, oh, but it's a ten. It's a ten. Meanwhile, faint attack is a four, so it's a hard-heading move. Hmm. Huh. Maybe get rid of Pursuit? Because the main problem with Pursuit is that it never seems to help me. Because I only ever use it in boss fights, but then the boss fight, like, they usually whittle me down with small attacks, and then I forget to put the Pursuit up. And agility is really helpful anyway, so, yeah. Because, hmm. like, what's you? It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 hit ratio. Versus a 4 hit ratio. I think I'm gonna get rid of Pursuit, because, like, I'm just never using it properly. But this can allow me to hit hard. And I will accept this fate. And if it turns out bad and it just misses too much for my liking, I can always get Pursuit back at Electivire. Again, I just, I like that we live with our partner. I think we already bought from you, but... Ah, sure, let's buy some gravel rock, why don't we? Hey, hey. And of course, we shall save here. And we're gonna go on a magical adventure. Oh, I forgot, we need to check out the... Wrong way. 
We need to check out the beach. There might be hidden items there. I wonder if that team, Weavile's team... Oh, hey, you. Uh, well, I'll keep... I'll finish my thought. I wonder if Weavile's team is going to go there, and after we do a few missions, they're going to come back and say, like, Oh, we got our ass beat. We are testing to see how close we can get to the sea. We are weak against water, but we seek to overcome that shortcoming. That will shape us into a hero. Oh, see, come. We dare you. Oh, see, hear me. Teach me. Once again, that reminds me of... Uh... Diddly D. A meme. I think it's from, like, Dragon Age or something. Where it's just like, And he said, come. And they came. Yes, even the dragons. But, job listing, Northern Desert, Northern Desert. Oh wait, I need to items, because we have a sleep seed. I'm going to go grab more reviver seeds first. Because we should have a few reviver seeds still in storage. We'll take one or two more, just in case. Because we can. We can. Do, 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 do. We'll take one more so we don't just completely get annihilated. I mean, look at how many reviver seeds we needed to graduate. Just bleh. Nightmare, nightmare. And it's purely because of my poor target priority. Where would I like to go? To hell! Northern Desert. Which is actually a pretty low-level dungeon, I believe. But we'll see how evil the Pokemon have gotten in our absence. One item on the floor. And now we can leave. Like, man, we haven't been here since we thought Dusknora was a good guy. Careful because you're there. We can at least sell the iron thorns. Well, that's just me. Come along, Shane. Can always do good with money. Again, I wonder if, like, the dungeons just make the money. One item on this floor. Let's go adventuring for that single item. You bastard. Man. Okay, because, yeah, there we go. Now my muscle memory won't kill me. Kind of annoying that it swapped things around, but I guess I did move them, but oh well. This is some Suvan music. It's been a while since... No, no, no. This is a faint attack. Once again, I just love the music in these games. I really should probably be bringing, like, other team members on missions with me more get them leveled up so that if we want, we have, like, a third ally. But again, it's a problem with me where I'm not really good at managing a lot of characters. It's already hard enough managing two. Like, in, within maneuverability. But we'll see. Huh. Is that... Wait a minute. Is that... Is that actually AoE? Dark Pulse. It's AoE. Oh, that's nice. If it is actually AoE, I need to double check. Wrong thing. Moves. Dark Pulse. 
within one tile range, not in front, because Faint Attack specifically says, enemy in front, it's an AoE attack. Hell yeah. And I did activate the Diddly Ds, did I not? Would be terrible if we came here and I didn't activate the missions. How dare you slap me with mud. Please die. But yeah. Multiple, like, monster houses better fear me because now I can hit multiple enemies. Granted, if... Oh yeah, speaking of that, we need to give Silas his defense scarf back. You've been out, you've been naked this whole time, buddy. That's terrible. Where's the time exit? You know it'd be mean if, like, the exit for one of these places was just hidden. Like a trap floor. You know, I once called a uh, Zoroark I had on a different playthrough uh, named Koga, and I got her mixed up with a different Zoroark. I currently have her in uh, Pokemon Home, so she holds sentimental value. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder what the Pokemon themselves think of that, if you mix them up. Okay, game, missing two times in a row. Will you fuck off, game? Why did I miss three fucking times in a row? Ah, uh, sure, I guess you can join. We're gonna call you James. Because you managed to dodge three fucking moves in a row. Somehow. You slippery bitch. You are James now. Okay, you're just a god. I think it has to do with the sandstorm, maybe? And we have to deal with a... a bandit outlaw motherfucker later on. So we need to be careful. Lots of grimy food, that's me. <laughs> now we need Jesse. Where's a survivor when you need him? If only to complete the Hoenn Team Rocket Team set. Get blasted, idiot. I do like that Silas just instinctively takes place in formation right behind me whenever there's opportunity. All the Sandshrews want to join me. My big fat tail brings all the Sandshrews to the yard. Ah, destination floor time. Hello, Blossom. Be gone, Blossom. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild. We will continue. Yas. <laughs> the yassification shall continue until morale improves. Nine. Three floor items. But what about wall items? Like wall chicken. And all of them are here. Leave the new recruit alone, you bastard. Hey, James, it's you in the future. Die. Actually, that, that reminded me of a thing that, like, when I first played, like, Explorers long, long time ago, it was basically hot off the trail of me playing, uh, of playing, uh, Rescue Team. And in my first team, I used a Trico partner. So, I lightly joked... That's, uh, my Trico partner from Rescue Team, like, Grovile the Thief. Just, like, in an alternate timeline. 
Which maybe. Would it, which would also kind of work because he would still befriend a human in either timeline. Nom nom. Apple time. Time for an apple teeny. How dare you try to absorb me? Quit absorbing me. You did it, James. You surveyed. I'm just grabbing the grimy food because we can, like, trade it out at the recycling post. For good items. And I do believe that this is the outlaw floor. Hm. We are going to beat you to death. But no, apparently this is not the outlaw floor. It's one of these floors. Ooh, it's a box. It's a very pretty box. Does it hold treasure in it? Like dildos? Silas, uh, with suggestive pictures of Silas going, draw me f like one of your French girls style. For that special night at Sharpedo Bluff. Sorry, Carnivine, we are hunting a bastard, and you could waste our revival seeds. We do have a seed that we're going to use to, like, annihilate, but still. Hello, Trap Inch. One of the main characters of a fanfic I've been reading lately is, is a Trap Inch. He's a silly little guy. Goes very fast. Is this the outlaw floor? If I remember correctly, Koga has sentimental value to me because she was the first Pokemon that I got traded to by a family member. Neat. I don't think I've ever actually traded a Pokemon with, like, another human being before. The only trading I've ever done was to trade Pokemon back and forth between Platinum and Pearl. So I could basically do New Game Plus. So I hold her dear. That's always nice. It's always nice when Pokemon can hold a special place in your heart. It's like they have their own unique story going on. Like, you could even make a small comic about that. Like, the family member's like, Ah, this is my dear Zorark. And then you get him. Well, look at that! My level's up! Good for you, James. Imagine if trading existed in Mystery Dungeon. All the Carnivine want to join me. I, th I wonder if that's just like a post-game thing. Like allowing you to get a bunch of allies quickly if you want. Hello, Trap Inch. Die. Because for me, I'm not sure if I have like any Pokemon specifically that I hold dear. I do know that I really, really like Empoleon and like Blastoise because they were the yeah, the th <laughs> hilariously enough the trio of Pokemon for my first like back to back Pokemon games were Blastoise in blue Blastoise in blue Toto uh, for, for Alligator in gold and silver and then Empoleon and uh, Pearl and Platinum back when I first played Pokemon games for the first time. Oh, it's your level. It's percent based. Neat. Oh, yeah, because I guess... Hmm. Oh, yeah, because... Uh, yeah, I guess each Pokemon has their own base catch rate and then your level is a modifier on top of that. 
Oh, hey, it's Ampharos. Explore team, run! Let's see, I think I have an item for you. Go to sleep, you little fuck. I said... Go to sleep! Luckily, I have always hit. Hilarious. We threw a sleep seed at an outlaw carrying a sleep seed. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's bounce. Thank you for rescuing Blossom. The adventures, ex the adventurous exploits of Team Lost Light are an inspiration to me. Please let me come become a member of your team. I don't think we have a pincer, sure, sure. I won't disappoint you. We'll call you Pollen, since you obviously want to pollinate that there blossom. Come along, Pollen. Ah, Ampros can learn discharge naturally. Ooh. To show my thanks, I want you to have a pink gummy. Thank you. We put in a full day today. I am exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. The next morning. <laughs> Would be funny if, like, <laughs> Loudred just bursts on in. I still have to wake you up. Good morning! Good morning, Neon. Let's make it another great day. All the months spent at Wigglytuff's Guild just makes it so that we're naturally waking up when we should. And let's save naturally. So things can be good. I just love this game. Mm, just more of that, so yep, nothing else is new. Oh, used TM. The remains of a TM Dark Pulse. After use, you can restore it uh, to its original state using the move Recycle so it can be used again. And some TMs can't be restored. Sure, I guess we'll put that in. Wait, does that mean that I can't store a used TM? Huh, that's weird. Well, I guess I'll just sell it then, or recycle it, maybe. And we didn't use the zinc. I'm a fool. Every single time, it's like, ah, we're gonna do this. And then we fucking don't. And we'll sell, like, yeah, all that. The silver and iron spikes. It's one coin, but I can't store it, so it's just a waste of space. Is that to appraise or appraise my dick? Revealed a mudkip mud and a lectoclaw. Fifty-five billion dollars to murder God. Fifty-five billion dollars to murder God. Let's do that because we can. Heal ribbon. Oh, sweet appealing. I think we got one of those. have the money for that. I don't think we do. We have a decent amount. We need to... Oh! Sorry! You don't seem to have money! Darn it. We're down only a certain amount. We'll find them. We'll buy a reviver seed. 
We could go to the bank to get the money. And those guys are still there. Oh, hey, you're here, because you're still on the team. Like, the active team. Because do I have any gummies with us? Nope, doesn't look like we got any gummies. But we need to do some recycling. Ah, you got a new offer? What's the offer? Calcium, but we don't have the orange berries for it. Okay, we want to recycle. But we want to go for a specific item. So yeah, I guess we'll get rid of the used Tom. in my mind, and I keep not doing use in the ginseng. I just keep up not using the ginseng. I really need to sell just a bunch of my TMs, because I'm just never going to use them. Red! Is it a one? It's a wrong. I think golden ticket odds are amazing. Huzzah, then we can't, can't wait till we rank up. Captivate. Mmm, now we gotta save that for the bedroom. Silas will surely like to be captivated. No bottles, just Doug Trio continuing to uh, be borderline suicidal. Reminds me of the, I think it was TV show Alien Nation, in which, like, like uh, an alien ship crash lands on Earth, like, full of slaves, alien slaves, and then the alien slaves get, like, reintroduced to the population of Earth, and, like, one of their weird quirks is, like, they melt in salt water, and, like, later on, there's, like, a Russian roulette game an underground Russian roulette game with salt water that the aliens play. Because I think it was like a movie and then a TV show and then had like a series of like mini movies afterwards. Brine Cave, Seren Serenity River, New Dungeon Discovered, New Dungeon ex Discovered, but it's in freaking. I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I could trust you. Find a Roshberry in Lush Prairie. We could maybe do Brian Cave, even though we don't have any. You know, I'm not gonna question what you. You know what? I'm not gonna question what you say anymore, Neon. <laughs> My brain it has ideas. Zero Isle, Villainous Cricketoon, Basement 69. For a thousand four hundred points. Hmm. Mystifying Forest wasn't that bad. And let's see. Hmm. I'd personally go, go play rough for the bed. True. True. Hmm. Conniver, uh, Surf gets escape in Brine Cave. So, ooh. Maybe two Brine Caves. I fainted. Sure, we'll take Brine Cave. <laughs> 100 floor dungeon go burr. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. And we'll definitely have to go and look at, like, some stun seeds or something. Seeds to make them slow the fuck down. Uh, 
ba ba dee ba ba doo ba ba dee ba 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 dee da 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 we do have another sleep seed. We're gonna take that sleep seed with us. So that outlaw can be utterly annihilated. Ba ba da. Ba 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 ba. I hope the game isn't being like, hey, you should explore Zero Isle, because I don't think I <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for Zero Isle. And it's Zero Isle North, West, East. Oh, I forgot I didn't take the uh, the jobs yet. I'm a fool. Brian Cave. Brian Cave. Brian, Brian, Brian Cave. Brian Cave. Brian Cave. Brian Cave. Brian, Brian, Brian. We're gonna go murder Brian. And we still have Kecnia with us. Don't fuck this up for us, little guy. You are literally half our levels. We were only a handful of levels lower when we came to this place. Luckily, they don't seem to be terrible, but still. Although, I guess, from our perspective, it's been a few months since we've been here. Die. What was that trying to do? Send me to meet God. Go evolve them. Maybe. Yeah, come on. I'm well murder you all. <laughs> Destroy us all. Hey, you jerk. Quit throwing mud at the cactus. <laughs> Rebound orb. Just in case Silas <laughs> dumps me. I don't I don't even know what your aqua ring even does. even does it do? I'm good, you didn't drop anything. I have the mobility scarf, but still, it would be mean to force me to put it on, dive into the water, get all wet. More, more money. Hello, Oma. Oma, 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 Knight. Get blasted into next year. Which would be terrible for you. You're already from the past. And a thunder wave. And... What, we're, we're all... You'd think all the water types in here would strive to destroy that so that nobody could use it against them. You bastard. Kind of a, I guess it's kind of a good thing that Silas is yet to evolve. That would have been super effective against him. Money. Good job, James. Ah, so that's why it's called Brian Cave. It kills people. Feels like the like bands are like more plentiful in this game. Ah, oh, you're so cool, die. Hmm. Uh, uh, next time we go, I need to use the Ginseng on like my faint attack because that's the one I use the most. It's always gonna hit. I need to raise its power. 
Oh, hey. I didn't even notice. Hello, Magic Carp. Get out of here. Thank you. I'll see you at the guild. Whoa! We get there, they've turned them into, like, cuisine. You're a plant type, you bitch. How could you let this happen to you? Yay, Orin Bailey. Do not growl at the cax... The, the cast? Die. You know what? Since I think we're in a safe place for the most part, I'm going to let him go after foes. And, uh, and uh, then hopefully that'll help with, like, the outlaw and stuff. Get out of here. I'm just gonna one-shot... Oh, how dare you? You're supposed to be dead. Level up time! <laughs> All our stats went up by one. Because that's how they have to balance it here. Oh, uh, yeah, because I said it to go after them. Which works out. Be gone. And we'll move on to the next floor so the boy stops getting poisoned. Now there's four items on the floor. Another rebound orb. Game, stop trying to fortune tell my future relationship with the boy. We live in the same cave. Is it a cave? What is it called? What would Torpedo Bluff even be called as a place of staying? That's another thing. How, how did Silas come to own Sharpedo Bluff? Or do, does he just live there? <laughs> what do I call this? A home? Maybe. Practically all the items are just here. We'll be able to just get another Reviver Seed from the Recycle Shop if we wanted. Getting that. <laughs> yeah, get cringed, idiot. Water sport came into effect. And now we murdered him and he's dead. Ah, you can learn a new move. I don't even know what moves you have. Ingrain. Gives the user ingrain status. Uh, is incapable of moving or gains HP. I don't think we want that. You forget that right now. Oh, hey, speaking of that, I think we still have, like, that zinc. Zinc. For me. I think. Hmm. I will give it to Silas. Make him a bit more tanky. Make him into a hunk. On to the next flower. Oh, hey. It's the bastard. Explore team, run! Let's see. Die. Oh, it, the, the mother... The motherfucker can go onto water? I feel like that's cheating. Luckily, I think it cornered itself. Well, mobility scarf time. Continue exploring. No. 
Are you guys trying to get teleported into the death? And silver bow blow back in place. Hello, Dragonair. Die. If only that Dragonair wanted to join the team. <laughs> what if we, like, knocked out an outlaw? And they're like, oh my god, you're so cool. Would you let me join your team? How dare you water pulse me, you bastard. And then the money went into the water. I'm not going to put on a band just for that. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next floor. And plus this can act as a bit of training for James. See if we want to just like continue to accidentally bring him along on jobs. Luminous Orb. For when you want to flashbang your friends. Somewhere out there in the multiverse, flashbang means something very, very different. I forgot that we still have that activated. Silas, please. need to turn that off. You don't need to do that here. Ah, moves. Swap off. I wonder why the AI just randomly decides to go, and now we're going to use this non-damaging set of moves again and again and again and again and again. Bastard. Now you die. How dare you try to icicle me? That's illegal. Huzzah. Thank you for rescuing me. I want you to have my Thunderbolt. Why do you have Thunderbolt? Ah, we went up to gold rank. The number of items that can be... <gasps> yes, storage increase. It's not 400, but it's still 100 more than it was before. Oh, and we were awarded a Gensing. Yay. You brought Surskit in for a rest. This is the bounty of this outlaw's head. Huzzah. Thank you for your cooperation. Yay. We put in a full day today. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. The next morning. Good morning. Let's make it another great day. Now what shall be? I forgot to... Uh, we'll take these to sell. I forgot that we are going to do that. Oh, wait, no. This is putting in. I'm a double dumb. But now we don't have to worry as much. Yay. We can put so many things in there. It'll be fantastic. Well, first things first, what do you gotta what do you got to sell? Hmm. We'll buy reviver seeds. We're gonna hoard all the reviver seeds that we possibly can. Alright, that's kind of evil that these guys sell reviver seeds at such a high price and then buy them so low, but I guess that's how you make profit, but still. That to appraisal. Let's get appraised. And what is that singular box? A swamp mud. Just once I'd like it to be a dark type. Diddly D. Now we've got this three, four, 
Oh, there was a lot of items we forgot to throw in there. Throw a few Reviver Seeds in there, just cause... We'll still go do some recycling and stuff. How much money do we have? That should be enough to do a... Oh, more information? Huh? There's someone at the cafe entrance. New stuff is happening! I wonder what's going on. Yeah, it seems like there's some happy news for all the explorers. I wonder what kind of happy news. Now I'm really interested. I'm going to go find out. I'm going too. Is that a recreation of what happened when we first saw Spinda Cafe? Huh? Somehow all this seems familiar, like we've done this before. I wonder what's going on this time. Hey Neon, we should go too. Everybody's here. Wow, there's a crowd. May I have everyone's attention, please? First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. I've got some happy news for everyone today. Has anyone here ever heard of a mountain called Sky Peak? Sky Peak? I've heard of it. <laughs> everyone snaps to him. Oh, that's some good art, man. It's a really tall mountain to the east. It's said that the mountain is so tall, it almost reaches beyond the sky. But it's surrounded by an impassable mountain range, so the route there has been lost. That's why it hasn't been fully explored yet. Yes, that's absolutely right. You sure do know your stuff. Just as Mr. Mine said, Sky Peak has not been fully explored, so it ho still holds many mysteries. High enough to reach beyond the sky! A mysterious mountain that still holds many secrets. That sounds like enough to catch the entrance of... The entrance? The interest of any explorer. Let's go and see. See for ourselves. If that's what you're thinking, then we are ready to fulfill that wish through Project P. We've been working on reclaiming the path to Sky Peak. And finally, a couple of days ago, we succeeded. Hooray! Furthermore, furthermore... Not only did we succeed in reclaiming the path, we also made a discovery! At the base of the mountain, we found a small hidden village! Hooray! A hidden village? That makes me think of ninjas or something! Naruto, it invades all! Yep, of course, it's not a village of ninjas. Instead, some very rare Pokémon known as Shimon live there. I guess that kind of makes sense. This is Explorers of Sky. And originally, like, like the uh, alternate form of Shyman shows up in the opening in the, like, artwork that I use for my, uh, like, stream thumbnails. There's a Shyman fly mode, so I guess it kind of makes sense that Shyman actually shows up in this game eventually. Shyman? Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about them either, but they're incredibly cute. C cute uh, I'm... <laughs> Ah, great. You've given them all a fetish. Furthermore, according to the survey team's report, on the outskirts of Shimon Village, they found a mountain path up to the Sky Peak Summit. This is a huge discovery. Sky gifts are uh, useless if you don't have any friends. Darn. This mountain has not been properly surveyed in some time. Piles of treasure. Opportunity for new discoveries. So I think... Furthermore, legend says that there is an incredible treasure hidden there that rivals all other treasures. Treasure. Discoveries. Wonderful. Yes, it is all waiting for you. I'll show you the location of the Shyman Village. Now colon colonialism can happen. For more details, please direct your request to the Project Pay server team already on location. So everyone, let's get moving with hopes and dreams on our minds and smiles on our faces. This is so cool, Neon. Did you hear that? Piles of treasure, new discoveries. 
I'm really interested in meeting these Shimon, so we should go. Oh, what kind of Pokemon is Shimon? So curious. There's a treasure everywhere. Just how tall is a mountain that can reach beyond the sky? I can't even imagine. I wonder if any new drink ingredients can be found there. One day I will find a sparkly glittery treasure. Mysterious mountain just sounds cool. That mountain almost reaches past the sky. Can't wait to climb it. Let's go, let's go. Let's find some treasure. I've heard about Sky Peak from a veteran explorer. It sounded like the path to the base of the mountain was there in the past. But I think I remember hearing the path was destroyed by an earthquake or something. Ah, oh, Eureka! It sounds good to hear a shout like that, huh? Please continue to explore. Very interesting. Ah, oh, nope. No resetting. No recycling for us. Well, in that case, we're going to save. Then we'll quickly check the beach for any beach vials. See if there's anything interesting down here going on. Nope, no bottles. Then we're gonna check uh, Krogunk's shop, the, the boards, and then I guess we'll head on over to Shimon Village. And unless we just utterly get annihilated, I should probably bring an escape orb. Just in case. Nobody else has anything to say about the Shimon Village. Let's see, Northern Desert, Northern Desert. So two Northern Deserts. That brings a black gummy. Hmm. Save my friend. So, yeah. Sure. And then we can deliver a Reviver Seed. Sure. Any outlaws in Northern Desert? No. But there is Zero Isle shenanigans going on. Wait, landslide cave. Don't we have a landslide? We do have a landslide. So I guess we'll take this landslide cave so that we can get landslide cave just overall out of the way. And we also have a craggy coast. So we'll take this craggy coast thing too to get those out of the way eventually. Let's see. So we should be fine there. Oh, yeah. Save. Then we're going to take James out of our team because complacency as well as we don't want... Is that all? Our IQ is only one and a half stars. Ooh, non-sleeper skill. Can't wait to get that. All right, uh, stand by. That's kind of cool. That actually tells you what IQ skill you're gonna get next. Well, let's head to Shaman Village. Hi, right. cool, cool. Let's go to the Shaman Village. I wonder if the Shymen are upset about there being so many people coming around now. So this is Shymen Village. It's pretty peaceful. Welcome to the Shymen Village. It's nice to meet you. My name is Shymen. I live here in this village. And again, all the residents of this village are Shymen. Shaman. That makes it hard to tell us apart, doesn't it? <laughs> nice to meet you. We're Team Lost Light. Did you come to climb Lo Sky Peak 2, Team Lost Light? Yes, that's right. I take it you know this mountain well? That's right. We've lived here for a very long time. We're here to guide travelers up the mountain. But we haven't actually done that in quite some time. That is, the earthquake that happened here some time ago destroyed the mountain path that led here. So explorers from outside couldn't come here very easily, and they stopped coming. All right, so their village is entirely about helping people up the mountain. We were pretty surprised when the survey team walked into our little village. Really? I see. That explains why this place has only been talked about in legends and nobody's come to visit. Oh yeah, speaking of legends, 
Is it true that there's an incredible treasure hidden here? One that rivals all other treasures? <laughs> what do you think? Our job's not limited to simply acting as your guides. But in the end, those climbing the mountain must discover some things for themselves. We are merely assigned to assist in those discoveries. Really? I'm not sure I fully understand, but I think there's a little more to it than that. That's right. By the way, now that we've discussed all this, if you're interested, I could be your guide. What do you think? For some reason, while talking to you, Team Lost Light, I've become to really want to climb the mountain with you. Really? That's a nice offer. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, Neon, what do you think? Should we let Shyman join us? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Okay, I'll be waiting at the mountain path entrance for you. The mountain path is straight ahead from here. Please come once you finish your preparations. See you later. See, I like this. There's a nice, like, what's the word? Pretext to all this that I really, really like. Well, I guess context. Blah, blah. Back in business after a short wait. I'm hurrying to get prepared. Please be patient with me a little longer. Hi there, travelers. This is Shyman's delivery service. Right now, we're in the middle of opening preparations. Ah, so that's the the sky mail. That's pretty useless. Yes, yeah, sky gifts. Welcome to the Shaman Village. We haven't had this many guests since we had that earthquake so long ago. There's not much here to see, but feel free to take your time. We can't request a friend rescue on Sky Peak because the path was destroyed by an earthquake, or so I've heard. Sky Peak is quite inaccessible, I've been told. I wonder what can be found at the summit. Oh, I'm so excited! Sometimes you can find secret rooms in places on the mountain. If you find a mysterious stairway, you should climb it and see. You go straight from here and you won't miss the mountain path. The flower that blooms here is called the Gracidia. It's a very special flower for us. I'm Mawile, a member of Team Frontier, the survey team. It's kind of difficult getting up here. When we found the Shyman village, we jumped for joy. <laughs> Our weariness just vanished. That's why I just can't stop exploring. Yo, I'm Breloom. I'm part of the survey team. I thought I'd take on this mountain before anyone else got here to see how it is, you know? But you know, this dungeon is pretty tough. It's so complex that a rescue request can't be sent. All collected treasures can be poof, gone. I'm a choke. I'm the leader of Team Frontier, Project P survey team. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. <laughs> the legendary treasure will be claimed by Sneasel. Okay, cool. We can save here. I wonder if that if that is a warning. It's like, hey, this is a very difficult dungeon. You're gonna fucking die. Well, let's see. We have four revivor seeds. I think that should do. Once you're ready, let's go. Climb Sky Peak? Yes! You're all ready? All right, let's do our best to make it to the summit. And who knows, maybe we'll get Shyman as a... First station pass, you say? Well, that's not good at all. Two chaps right next to each other, how dare you, game? Silas! Silas, you fool! There you go. This is some bopping music. Oh, Shyman's actually high level, but with low HP. We'll need to keep an eye on that. Get rocked, idiot. Haha, your friend has blocked you in. You're dead, you fool. Well, I have rock. Well, I have rock. This is a very nice music. Move on. I should probably take his run after enemies tactics off just for now so that he doesn't get absolutely annihilated. Let your guard down. No problem. 
Let's go together. Well, that's very rude, you know. And since I'm not a traitor, if I ever get confused, I can just spam Dark Pulse to maybe damage enemies. Just some very happy music for an apparently treacherous mountain climb. Jesus Christ. Well, that's not good at all. Damn it. What the fuck? That's very mean. And I, at least I'm done. I should have maybe tacticted Silas to help me fight. But okay, those guys are scary. Pretty mean of the game to throw two of them at me. actually do a lot of damage. Like I said, you only have a certain amount of health to you. And now we'll move on. This is such happy music for such a dangerous dungeon. What the heck, where are you? We're at Sky... Uh, well, the Sky Mountain place. We went along... Oh, hey, Night Slash is in this game. Of course you explode. Why don't you? Why would you not? Yeah. We uh, beat the main story. So, now we've come this way. Uh, into the post-game. We graduated. And now, through Project P... The Shyman Village has been rediscovered, and we are here to adventure through it with our Shaman ally. We're almost to the first station clearing. You can do it. This is the first station clearing. Sky Peak has resting areas labeled first station through ninth station. The tenth station is, of course, the summit. The road ahead is long, so let's take it in stages. Who knows what we might face? Let's be careful. Oh no! I completely forgot to bring an Orenberry! I'm so forgetful. Sure. Woohoo! For me? Really? You really are a great friend. I'll find a way to pay you back. Oh, that's right. Here! This is the best item I have with me right now. The escape orb. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. I'll definitely take that. I won't forget this favor. Thank you. <laughs> You're really nice, aren't you, Neon? Mountain climbing is, gi is give and take. We should help others when they're in trouble. What do you think is the greatest secret treasure of all, darlings? I bet it is a sparkly golden something. Macro keeps saying gold, gold. I'm getting sick of it. I'd rather find some stylish and elegant treasure. Hey, did you already find out? There's a rumor that this mountain hides many hidden places. It makes me a little nervous that I can't rely on friend rescue here. But in a way, it has a certain thrill to it. Huh? The legendary treasure will need to be found by someone of legend. I'd say that's me. And we can save here. This is a big dungeon. At least it has stations. Yep, resting areas. So we'll make it go fast. Let's go on. And hell, if we run into too much trouble, we can always bobbity ball. Yep, yep, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Gold ribbon. Ah, uh, yes, a ribbon that has no purpose but to be sold. <laughs> Zero Island Destiny Tower is bigger. I can only imagine. Damn it. And hey, we made back our Orenberry already. Huzzah. Grow all you want, little boy. You're still gonna die. Hey, we replaced that Reviver Seed we lost. 
when those two fully evolved starters came to fuck us. All they did hit me with a giant log. Again, the music is just so sweet. Oi, bastard. Die. Get force palmed out of the air. Okay, now that we have this, I want to see. Is it sticky? That's not what I meant to do, game. I am a fool. Info. Huh. Yeah, I guess it has to be sticky that we can't use it. I'm just trying to maneuver. Sh I should have just used the tactics menu if I'm a fool. But then I would forget to put it back to normal. Oh, hey, full of foe holding orb. That'll be nice. Maybe. I wonder if the Sneasel will be a boss. Like, no, only I get to win. Only victory for me, the Snozzle. Oh, hey, it's that thing that, like, one-shot me before. The Torterra, I think it is. Yeah, I'm going to agility a bit, because this guy needs to die. Why did the... Why did the other two take... I don't know. The other two were so scary. <coughs> like, oh, wow, the second station already. Wow, incredible. This is... Interesting. Hey, we're the survey team from Project P, Team Frontier. This is a huge, tall mountain, you know, so rescue missions can't be done. So we build a base at the second station clearing. We've set up a Kangaskhan rock and a Driftbloom's gondola. And be sure to use them. Project P's recycle shop is covering it all, too. Everything's free. Cool. That's wonderful. That's the spirit of cooperation. Ah, oh, the mountain is so beautiful. Who knows what we might face? Let's be careful. We're, we're the backup team for Project P, yes we are. We're here to support for everyone's explorations. Over there is one of those ubiquitous Kangaskhan rocks. Make sure to store anything valuable you don't want to lose. I'm a choke. Yeah, you already said that. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Is that all he can say? It looks like the path uh, enters a cave from here. Hi, this is Trippum's Gondola. Interesting. So great when everyone cooperates. I know, I'm just so incredibly excited. This is cool. I know we definitely want to keep that. Hmm. Oh, petrifies all enemies and enemies in the room. Do, do. I wonder where I've heard this music before. I think in Rescue Team. Yep, and of course, we should save. It's always nice to hear music again that is, like, recognizable. Let's continue on! Nine items on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Ooh, a totter seed if we have to obliterate that twink of a sneasel. you try and night slash me. I am God. And apparently I became terrified. And then he fucking exploded. I hate enemies that explode. They just seem mean. And now you're stuck. You can't run. Oh, interesting. Yes, please do it. keep doing that. You'll kill yourself. 
course, that means you. That is hilarious that the infinitely more powerful Torterra decided I'm gonna die for this this fucking rat. Well, that's very mean. Quit fire blasting me, asshole. I forgot that that happens. So it apparently only does like half your health. For me. Now that I know that it only does like half your health on average and isn't like a set like damage move, I am much more lenient for enemies exploding on death. We've come to kill you, asshole. I keep forgetting that happens. Ah, good job! I can't believe the Shyman is... Well, I guess it kind of makes sense that they're level 55. So... Not super surprising that they're more intelligent than us. Damn it! I bet... Shyman, no. Shyman, no. Our guide was stolen away by the Whirly Whirl. And we should do some exploring because they said things like hidden rooms, hidden stuff, get some items like money. Money, it's all you need to be happy. Sponsored by Capitalism. We're almost at the third way station. Cool. It's like multiple mini dungeons stacked on top of each other. Phew, the third station clearing. By the way, Neon, did you happen to find any treasures called Sky Gifts while we were climbing? A Sky Gift is a special kind of treasure that can only be found on Sky Peak. As its name indicates, it's a gift that should be given to others. You never know what's in it until it's opened. It's a mysterious treasure. But if it's opened by the one who found it, then it's completely empty. So be careful. <laughs> It's said that if you send Sky Gift as a token of thanks, whoever receives it will be very happy. Why don't you send a Sky Gift to those who have helped you? I have no one I can send that to because I live alone. Who knows? We might face. I heard Shaman uh, talking earlier. I did find a Sky Gift. He must like to save the world that I owe you for many things, so I always wanted to show you my appreciation. So please accept this from me. Thank you. Oh, a ginseng! A warm and fuzzy feeling falls over you. How very nice. Let's see, ginseng is perhaps the top's most move. Of which shall definitely... But I can't move it in here, damn it. We'll have to do it in this field. Putting your heart into a gift of treasure. Sounds nice, huh? I was thinking that Sky Gift was some kind of joke because it was completely empty when I opened it, but I was wrong. Sky Gift, speaking of, one of my friends is celebrating the birthday soon. I should give them one as a present. It's a little strange! A treasure that is to be given as a gift? I don't know whether to be happy about it or not. It's not like you get to keep what's inside. Shh, no, what am I saying? What a greedy point of view. I'm ashamed it's so selfish. Yeah, this is cool. A huh, sky gift? It isn't really treasure. There's no point in treasure if you don't get to keep it yourself. Well, that's your opinion. Would be nice if you could, like, just give that to the NPC. Well, that's not very nice at all. this, like, palette. What's a dough seed? Oh, crap. Guess I'll have to handle you myself, because if you explode, you'll hurt Shyman. That'd be very mean. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to swap my moves around so we can become super powerful. Powers up the topmost attack, it says. 
What's Doe Seed? <laughs> Lowers level by one. Ah, Doom Seed. So what does a Doe Seed do if you do do it? What's information? A food items that makes more... Oh, on the next floor. It also somewhat fills the fucking... It doesn't look like... That's weird. I guess they figure they don't want to give you... Like, too good. Lucky, the move got a... Stronger. What, can some moves not... Oh my god! I'm gonna be able to murder so many people. And a reviser seed. Oh, that's not good. Now we're gonna be able to kill so many people. Well, at least we don't rely on you too much. Hey, wanna die? <laughs> you lucky son of a gun! Apparently I got super lucky with that. Plus three. I'm going to assume that that is a rare, rare occurrence. Rage all you want. Oh, no. Die. Damn you. At least I'm still roughly Reviver Seed positive. Thank you, Shyman. Well, actually, I probably should have gone... Damn it. I have been obliterated. We'll go ahead and skip ahead a little bit so that we can actually get to doing things. Uh, what's the power on it now? Oh, yeah, we should probably take a look. It's still four. So I wonder... Hmm. No, my bow! My beloved bow, I don't want to lose you. There we go. Damn it, Shaman. At least you have nothing on you. Eight items on this floor. Please don't be a monster house. Maybe it'll be a shop. Then again, if it is a monster house, I do have an AoE attack now. Heal all you want, you're still dead. What the fuck? <laughs> Just obliterates you, and all that you love refuses to elaborate. Runs. Weirdo. We're almost at the fourth way station clearing, come on! Hey, great job! We've also established a base at the 4th Station Clearing. Feel free to use it. Yes, thank you. So you're probably tired. Let's take a short break. Help! <laughs> What's wrong? The Explorer Sneasel's getting picked on by this strange group near the 5th Station Clearing. I'm not help much help by myself, so please someone come with me to help. Move out! Roger, let's go. Being picked on? Bro saw it was 4.59 on the Friday at work. <laughs> the fifth station clearing. Oh, don't tell me. Neon, yeah, we should hurry too. It looks like Sneasel was first heading to the fifth station. Looks like there's a strange group near the fifth station clearing picking fights with other explorers. Skull, I believe. Either that or Weavile's team. I don't think I could handle them on my own. I prefer to get someone to come with me. They wonder what happened to the fifth station. Neon, we'll hurry too. First things first, do our thing. Go ahead and diddly dee. Do 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 do
And of course, save. But yeah, it's either going to be Weavile's team or it's going to be Team Skull. Or it could be new characters we've yet to be introduced to. Eight items on this floor, Jesus Christ. Hello. I very much dislike just how much health that guy gets when he runs away. Supposed to At least it was just agility, and it's not, like, an important floor yet. Jerk. Quit hurting my boyfriend. It is as better than that vein. Oh, an apple. Ah, oh, it's just a mix elixir. Probably should have waited there to let Silas heal up. Nine items. Could just be that later dungeons are, like, super bountiful, but still. Whenever I see large... Well, that's very mean. And one of them was a gummy, damn it. Hey, don't body slam my boyfriend. Go harass Ash. If you want to do that. Oh, hey. Die. Oh, another apple. Apple. Hey, apple. I suppose this is kind of what poor boyo Sneasel gets for going in alone. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's not what I want to do, damn it. I have to outspeed his speed. You thought you were fast. No, I'm the fastest. Is that why there's so many of these guys? To foreshadow... Oh, hey, he didn't explode. It's bad, because it just keeps going. Damn you. At least I'm not toxic anymore. But I really hate multi-hit moves. Because they only ever work for the enemy. I really should do... I, I need to move around my abilities more. Blast it. I probably should have taken more reviver seeds of me. Not to mention things sound weird, Neon, but when you do, things are Neon is gonna go to Silas. Of course. <laughs> they already live together. They're oh my god, they're roommates. <laughs> to think of it for months now they've all lived well they all both of them have lived together in the same room for a long long time they basically already proclaimed their love for one another back at temporal tower saying that they have the most precious things in the entire world to each other more important than anything else Simply put, they are banging. Certified bangers. Not what I meant to do. I keep pressing the wrong button because Brain's like, that's where agility used to be. I probably should have done agility. 
Thank you for killing him. I just like the music that's playing on this as well. I wonder what dictates the explosion. Is it just more RNG? Yeah, run away, you little bitch. Run away! <laughs> Run away! Didn't need to do it. <laughs> What's with the chestnut trap? What? Who set this up? <gasps> How did they get that many chestnuts? Are you implying that this man has nuts on his chest? Get hit, idiot. Ah, level up time. Yay. Even if we only... Oh, we actually got... Oh no, now the stats are starting to get randomized. The ability Aftermath. In the mainstream Pokemon games, if you defeat a Pokemon with the ability, your Pokemon also takes damage. I wonder what... Oh, let me guess, Team Skull. I can see the fifth station clearing. Let's hurry! Oh! It's Carnivines. Okay. Ow! Oh! Are you alright? We've come to help. I knew it! Hi, you came to... Help? What do you think you're doing? We're Team Frontier. Only cowards would gang up on one Pokemon. That's all I ever do. This time you're a we're your opponents. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, wait a minute. All right, Silas. Go after foes. Let's see, do I have any... Makes enemies pause. Petrifies all enemies. Use! Oh, nope, I forgot. Boss fights don't let that happen. I'm a fool. See? Agility! 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 Now let's get to killing. God, these guys have a lot of health. But I do find it amusing that, like, the most advantageous places to use, like, orbs, the game won't let you use them there. can't control you. That's bad. And you're dead. Huzzah! Everyone, wait a second! What? Ha, you! Oh, a shaman from the village! It's been a while! We owe you. You haven't changed a bit, Carnivine. 
We've asked you before to stop bothering the explorers, haven't we? Yeah, but that Sneasel started it. We found some treasure earlier, and he snatched it right out from under our noses. Uh, where'd he go? That he ran off in the confusion. Uh, really? We all thought you were the bad guys. Well, you can't exactly say they're the good guys either. Hey, you haven't seen... Hey, we haven't seen you in so long, Shaman! And this is how you treat us? Eh, it's fine, since it's Shaman, we'll let it go. The decision to climb the mountain is our own, but I don't like to let Pokemon just do as they please. See ya! They're weird. Oh, I didn't realize you learned Dark Pulse. Yep, we found a TM through the recycle shop, and I'm just like, aha! AoE attack time! Excuse me, the Carnivine have marked this as their territory. They're really nice, but they can be a little rough when they speak. We're also to blame here. Rather than listening to them, we just jumped straight into the fight. That's why you shouldn't just judge by appearances. Sorry! <laughs> it's alright, as long as you understand. So let's put this behind us and get back to climbing. This is the fifth station clearing. We're halfway to the summit. Yeah! Can't judge based on appearance, let me tell you. I misunderstood earlier, too. I wonder what that sneezer was up to anyway. He just ran off without saying a word to anyone. This is a man of few words, I see. All right, let's regroup and go. We're halfway to the summit. Who knows what we might face? Let's be careful. Time for murder. Oh yeah, I forgot you're still on, like, uh, murder time. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go together. Apple time. Huh. I don't think I've seen this tile set since, uh, early on in Rescue Team. Hello, Bibro. Would you like to die? Damn it. Double damn it. Fine, we'll leave. Since Shaman can't be like, oh, I shouldn't step there. The music kind of reminds me of Ace Attorney. Of course, it's probably used, like, similar digital instrumentation because of the same, like, uh, console it was on, but still. I just think it's neat. You bastard. And you're gonna explode after this too, forcing me to run to the exit. Never mind, he died. Die. Please die. Won't we leave? Alright, we'll kill you. Be gone. Hello, our string. Leave our guide alone. Let that child alone. I'm beginning to fear that one of these is gonna be a... Okay, good, it's not a monster house. And where's the eight items coming from? All the wandering around has healed me. Hello, die. Lots of everyone knowing toxic up in here. Is that just the kind of relationship they're all striving for? Well, although I guess I suppose they. Oh, no, that's just the. I don't know. It said there was eight items. 
ten this time. Are they through the fucking wall? Well, that's a lot of damage. How dare you? Leave the boy alone. I do like that, like, your sprites get, like, a little bit faster under agility, too. Just ever so slightly. Hey, that's my move. Quit trying to steal my move. Hands off my prey. Exploring. These areas are... Oh, hey! It's a sky gift. One that I'll probably never use. Does it count as giving if I sell it? That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke, lads. Sorry, Primeape. We can't let you join because... Uh, but really, I'm just afraid that you'll die a lot. I'm already dying a lot. I don't need another person who's gonna die a lot. Hey, it's a furret. Hey, it's a furret. Hey, it's a furret. How many furrets are here to die? Yes, feed the boy experience. And we got a shiny box. Yeah. We're almost at the sixth station clearing. Keep going. Yeah, we're here. We reached the sixth station clearing before you, so we made another base. Yes, thank you so much, as always. But you know, from here on, the mountain is covered with snow. We can't really set up any more bases. So from now on, we have to climb on, your, on your own. Sorry. No problem at all. We're glad you were able to make bases up to this point. They'll be a great help. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, right, that's right. From here on, we're going to make a serious effort to reach the summit. See you along the path. See you. All right, we're off. We're coming. We come all the way here, and the path has become much steeper. You know, Team Frontier is just awesome. They're carrying heavy goods and establishing a base for everyone. Looks like there'll be snow from here on out. There's snow from here on. Once you've finished all your preparations, let's get going. Who knows what we might face? Let's be careful. <laughs> Everyone's saying the same thing. Definitely need to take more reviver seeds. We'll have one escape orb just in case. Hmm. Maybe we don't need that many apples, but at the same time they said, nah, 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 nah. I'll just take more reviver seeds. We only have two left. Why not bring them all? It all come down to RNG, I feel. From now on, I think we're just going to beeline it to stairs if we find them. Play it safe, not too risky. You fucker. That's... It just... I don't think that should be allowed. I just don't think that should be allowed. A warp tile right next to the exit 
should be illegal. Execution. Let's just get a few extra hits in. Preempt his... Punchin' Punchin'. Damn it. Ever since that one Hitmon decided to go super speed at me, I'm now just like, oh no. If he does it too close to me, everything could go bad. You bastard. Kill him. And now I can kill you. Got a critical hit, too. Hello, Mibril. Really enjoying the music. It's quite charming. Bastard. Double trap? Why? Illegal. Oh, hey, lots of items. We'll smack you. We'll blast you. Bastard. At least I am mostly immune to the worst aspects of grime. And at least you can still eat grimy food not the best, but you can still do it. And at the very least, like, grime doesn't seem to affect, like, non-edible items, which I do appreciate. We're here to murder you. Good job, Shaman. A wonderful run into carnivines. Just as normal enemies. That'd be kind of amusing. Every single time we have to climb this, we have to fight them at that level. Oh, I see the tunnel. We're almost at the seventh clearing. Wow, Team Frontier sure are quick. What happened? I don't know. He had fainted before we got here. I don't know if it's because of the cold or because he ran out of items, but I do know this is dangerous. This isn't good at all. I'll go get help. Huh? Who are you going to call for help? There's a rescue expert at the 8th station clearing. We don't call him for the little things, but emergencies are different. Could you please keep an eye on Sneasel, Team Frontier? We're going ahead. I see. We're counting on you. Let's hurry, Neon. Meanwhile, Silas is just happy. Please! It's dangerous if you don't hurry. Leave this to me. You go and hurry on ahead and get ahead. And we shall. I do like this dungeon having a mini story arc going on in it. I do like that. See, this is what I want kind of out of the post-game for Mystery Dungeon games. I want it to tell more story. Because, again, I enjoyed Rescue Team, but I grew tired of the... And go here, beat legendary Pokemon who won't even join you on the first go. You have to come back and fight them multiple times, probably, because they have low recruitment rates. But this one, where there's, like, little arcs and stories and stuff, I like that. At least it's just Scratch. We have to avoid that so nobody else gets affected. Luckily, it was in a place that we could avoid, for the most part. And it's not like I've been using Scratch all that much. I was gonna throw a rock at you. Die. But yeah, so far I'm really enjoying the post-game. The graduation was the perfect like, introduction to the post-game and, like, narrative framing, almost. So, yeah, I'm just... Can't wait to see what more there'll be in the post-game. I hope 
there's lots. Damn it. We're so close to getting non-sleeper. As an IQ skill. Kill. Goodbye, you angry bastard. To hell with you. Also, I highly doubt that it's the cold that did Sneasel in. Because... Sneasel is, like, part ice type. Then again, we're, like, 70% water and we still drown, so... What's a Wonder Gummy? When used, this item causes the user's eyes to become gunky and the user gets blinker status. I want to take this along just to see if I can, like... I don't know, get drunk on it at Spinda's. My priorities are fine, thank you very much. It's a gummy of some kind. Surely it will work. And if not, we can probably trade it at the recycle shop. But interesting. I'm really enjoying the music in this section. I just really, really love this game. Will you please stop? Just all of this is so grand. I dearly hope that more of the post-game is like this. Maybe not one-to-one, -one, because, you know, overusing the... Bastard. But, like, hope it does more, like, character and story stuff. That's what I want. Because even if it is for, like, a single dungeon, putting in the idea of, like, actual story in the dungeon. This is so cool. Get blasted, idiot. Sweet scent all you want. You'll still die. Let's -a go. We'll go ahead and eat the apple. Om nom. Throw rock. Shaman, why did you do that? I should have used... I'm full. Shaman's gonna die and take a reviver seed. Okay, never mind. Speed. Speed. And save. Idiot. come to us. That stupid teleporter. I am in hate. Hatred flows through me. I personally feel like traps shouldn't be in such a way that it makes... Like, this is another reason why I only like having two party members. Because it's a pain in the ass to maneuver three characters around traps. Oh, hey, Ampharos. Ampharos. Oh, it's Shaman from the village. I was wondering who it was. It's been a long time. How have you been? It's been a long time, Ampharos, but we don't have time to chat. We're in a hurry. Indeed. Did something happen? At the seventh station clearing. Ah, here I thought I was going to have my first guests in a long time, but sounds like I'll have to wait. I hear you. I'm on my way to the seventh station clearing, you said? Yes. You wait for me here. We're counting on you. 
<laughs> 10 damage is nothing now. True, but it's just like the, it's the, it's the principle of the matter. Hey, I'm here to help. Oh, over here. Hmm, it seems as though I'm barely in time. Well, let's carry him to the 8th station clearing. Oh, like unique sprite, it seems. Oh, he's awake. Sneasel, are you all right? Uh, where am I? You fainted at the seventh station clearing. If Amphros hadn't carried you here, things would not have gone well for you, seriously. You did that for me? It wasn't just me. Everyone here came to your rescue. I see. I... Ah! It's all right. You don't have to say anything. You should really take it easy and rest. All of you may go ahead through the mountain pass. I can take care of him. Are you... You were all headed to the summit, weren't you? This is the eighth station, so you're almost there. Do your best. B but... There's nothing to be accomplished by all of you staying here. I can handle this on my own. Go on ahead. Are you sure? Well, all right. We'll leave Sneasel in your care. Poor little guy. Leave Sneasel to me. You're almost to the summit. Just a little more. <laughs> that, that... <laughs> the portrait just makes it a humor. We should do what Amphro says and head for the summit. I wonder if Sneasel is all right. Sneasel, I'm so worried. We should speed it up! Hilarious. I guess we can throw some grimy food in the storage. Laundry gummy bear. Ah, we do have a decent amount of waviva sides. Only two more, well, I guess one more station, and then it's the race to the top. I really enjoyed this, like, mini thing. Like, it, it's a dungeon, but with a story arc in it, and I like it. I like that. It makes it feel unique. And like I said, we're just steamrolling ahead. We're not going to give this game a chance to screw with us. May not be uh, all that effective, but we still obliterate your face. Ooh, this is some music. This is some nice music. It has a vibe to it. That motherfucker has stolen a sky gift. Let's kill him. What have I done to deserve death? You stole a sky gift, you bastard. I want that Ursarang's penis exploded. What am I doing? I should use... Oh, wrong thing. Rage all you want, you stupid son of a bitch. You motherfucker. Once again, should be illegal. I'm sorry, but warp... Warp tiles should just not be in the same room as an exit. It's just so unbelievably cursed. Especially because it seems to be the favorite thing of this game. Let's just power on. Let's just power on. There's items in this floor. Die. Power on, power on. Hammer on, hammer off. I 
followers, Rang. We're gonna throw you off the mountain. You'll never see your family again. Hello, is Rang's wife. We're going to kill you. Here, exit it. Damn it. At least it hit her and not me. We've come to kill you. So you can go see your mother in hell. Well, that's not good at all. Whenever I see a Shed Ninja, I get scared. We're almost to the ninth station clearing. Come on! Well, this looks ominous. Ooh, here we are, the ninth station clearing. I think Team Frontier already went ahead. Something seems different from the last time I was here. Oh, sorry. It's nothing. Probably just my imagination. Well, at any rate, it's only a little farther to the summit. Keep at it. Who knows what we might face? Let's be careful. What are we going to find? Like, the cult of shaman is actually sacrificing people to Rayquaza up here? But apparently, something funky is going on. Haha, <laughs> you missed, idiot. Once again, we are going to plow right ahead. And not give the... Because it was early on when this frickin'... It was like the first station... Actually... Ah, level up time. Huzzah. I can learn a new move. What is it going to be? Punishment. What does that do? Inflicts damage on the target. Its power is boosted if any of the target's attack defense are elevated. Interesting. But no, I don't think so. Yes. Good job, Shaman. Oh, great, you have a multi-hit move, you bastard. Let's see, I should have some corn berries. I probably should have used super speed. Agility! That's not what I went to do, damn it. Oh well. Good job there. Oh, damn it, he lived. But now he'll die. And why, yes, I did take on an entire hellscape purely for gummies. Jesus Christ. I just have to wander back and forth to get the team coming back to me. Alright, the tile set's a little hard to parse visually sometimes. Please kill him. I probably should have used more agility there. Hello, Furret. Die. Get rocked, idiot. What did I say? Get rocked. Cowabunga it is. Like, the water is hard to view from, like, the floor. Um, rock. Die. Again, I hate maneuvering three allies, or like three characters. 
Like, if only it had, like, the Icewind Dale, um, formation feature. We are like, I want the team to enter this formation. And then they would, like, spend their movements to get into that formation. Like, I think that would be a nice system to have. Silas Y. Get blasted, idiot. Ah, oh, crap. Don't you die to that stupid multi-hit move. And now we get the music back because of the... Oh, yeah, I forgot because we entered into a uh, monster house. Which, if the trend of monster houses continues, means that there's going to be multiple more we need to speed on. Because that seems to be, like, just the ever-continuing thing with monster houses. There's never just one. There's never just one monster house. When you run into a monster house, more are sure to follow. That just, that's it. That's the rule of the universe. Gone Pebble? This item has a nostalgic feel and causes the user to bring to mind a dearly held memory. When this item is used, tears begin to well up and the user sobs and switches to enduring status. What? I want to keep that just because it sounds so freaking creepy. Fucker. A uh, double fucker. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much there to really get. Damn it. I need to blast you out. Alright, just blast ahead. Oi. Fuck off. Good job, Shaman. Murder that bitch. Tear off his hands so we have boxing gloves. That's the invention of the boxing gloves. They tore off a poor Hitmon man's hands and turned them into gloves. Another gone pebble. Oh, it's the peak. Oh, I can see it, the summit. What happened? Why is it poison? This is terrible. All this happened while I was away for so long. Looks like someone else got here first. But what is this? This is the summit? No, this is... Icky, sticky, grimy, slimy, we love dirt in... Icky, it wasn't... Call him, call him. Make it so sweet. We love dirt and slime. What? A group of grimer and muck. This isn't your home, you know that. Please go back where you belong. No, no. Laws, laws. We travel all cleanliness. Looks like we have to get them to come to their senses. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Agility. Agility. Agility! Silas, go fuck their day. Yeah, 
Wait my turn, because there's five billion people fighting in here. Let's see. Dark Pulse! Oh, I tried to... Oh, there we go. And the dude died. Yay. So many people fighting in here. At least I can make them also terrified. I would like my turn, please. Agility! I'm trying to use agility, but it's, it's just skipping over my turn. Okay, but skip ahead. Let me let me play a game. So many people fighting. And like, I keep trying to use my agility, but it just wouldn't work. Man, this Team Frontier, despite being utterly bodied by these Grimer, are actually holding their own decently. How dare you attack the boy? Die! Quit throwing the Machamp man around, man. Do not paralyze the boy. Ah, oh, crap, there goes Mawile. We have uh, enough. Orans. Live Shane. Not Shane Silas, damn it. Damn it, that did a lot of damage even after we just healed you. And he's dead. Immediately. Aha! We only lost small while. <laughs> so strong! Have you come to your senses yet, Grimer and Muck? Huh? Huh? Oh, Simon! What happened while I was away for so long? You know that this isn't your home, right? Huh? This is so our home! See? It's all dirty and grimy. Dirty and grimy. I see. Nobody's come here for so long. I'm sorry, Grimer and Muck. This is the mountain summit. Huh? The summit? It can't be. I think it fell into disrepair because nobody visited for so long. But we can't leave the summit in this condition. Will you please return to your rightful home? Please, I'm asking you. What? This is the summit? I didn't notice. Sorry, Simon. We'll go home. All right, thank you. I'll come visit with a token of thanks later. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. And we didn't even lose a reviver seat, I don't think. Where were we? 
We have to clean this place up to restore it. Restore it? It's so dirty now. How could that possibly... How could we possibly... We shaman have a special power to clean up the land by absorbing dirt and things. Yet cleaning up this mess is no small task. Here goes nothing. Wow! Get down, please! The only thing I'm disappointed by is that Silas didn't really have much to say for this story. It was mostly Team Frontier. <laughs> More great art. Wow! This is the summit? It's just such a change from what we were looking at before. It's so beautiful. I've never been seen such a beautiful scenery before. <laughs> Little kid, just that blank thousand yard stare. Congratulations on reaching the summit. This is the Sky Peak Summit. Wow, we did it! At last, we've reached the summit. Hey everyone, look over here! Oh, that's just grand. Look at that art! Wow! Amazing! <laughs> Again, the thousand yard stare. I'm so glad that I climbed this mountain. Me too. This is... I'm speechless. I think this is the first time. This must be the fabled treasure that the superior that is superior to all other treasure. Shaman. Thank you so much for guiding us here. My pleasure. I had fun climbing the mountain with all of you. So thank you very much. Well, we should do this again sometime. Yes. It seems like you really enjoyed the view from the summit. Shall we head back to the base of the mountain? Yeah. Heading back means... Ah, we didn't think about how to get back down! You've got to get back down! <laughs> get that thousand yards there. Calm down, it's fine. I'll take you all back to the base of the mountain and no problem. Huh? How you do that? There's a special flower here called Gracidia. It's a special flower for us shaman. How is it special, you ask? We can transform! Turn into a tomboy! I just touch the flower like this and I can change form temporarily. Wow! Are you really that adorable shaman? <laughs> a thousand yard stare! Shaman do be great cleaners. They're the ultimate maids. <laughs> when I'm in this form, I can fly. You can fly, that means... That's right. Flying is so much fun. It's not much, but this is a gift from me to you. All right, let's soar down to the base of the mountain. <laughs> the stair. It's just, why did they personify the choke like this? Hold on tight. And so Team Lost Light, which had successfully climbed to Sky Peak Summit, thanked Shaman graciously and returned to Treasure Town. And on the evening of the day they returned, there was a huge party at Spinda's Cafe. Everyone stayed up until dawn, discussing the exploration. The next day. It's late, Neon! Yesterday was so much fun! I'm kind of tired from staying up all night talking. I won't be able to forget everyone's smiling faces. Hey, Neon, I've asked you this before, but exploring is so much fun, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> right. All right, let's go have fun exploring today. Yeah! A message has arrived from the Exploration Team Society. If you want to hear that song again, there's now a machine available for you to listen to the game music anytime. The Sky Jukebox is now available. So that's the, that's the thing. So Destiny Tower, will it have its own stream? Maybe. 
I'm not a big fan of the 100 level dungeons, but we'll definitely see. We'll see, we'll see. To access the Sky Jukebox, select Other from the top menu. To use the Sky Jukebox, save your adventure and return to the top menu. That's cool. So the reward was a jukebox. Well, yeah. So far, the post game is a lot of fun. <clears throat> I guess. Bye -bye. But that'll be it for now. We've been going for almost four hours because that post game dungeon took a while. That there, super mountain peak top. But again, I really liked it. It was something different. It had its own, like, story arc almost for Sneasel, which is kind of neat. Introduce the new team, Frontier. Introduce Shaman in here. It's just like, it's super cool. It's super cool. But once again, next time I don't know what we'll do. Actually, I do know what we'll do. We'll do a special episode, then maybe some grinding through just normal missions. I might look up like we fixed that mountain yet? No. I still need to make an account on that site so I can leave a comment just like, hey, I've been running into that. Everything else seems to work, though. It's weird. And then we'll take a while to fix if it does. I don't know. Meh. But, yeah. Next time, we'll do the Team Charm special episode to open up the stream. And then... Well, actually, speaking of that, we'll probably go to... Kangaskhan storage just so that we can put things away. Just in case Team Charm needs help. But I don't know. <laughs> Better late than never. True. I'll just put some stiff away. Do -do 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 -do. Send it to a friend. Fool, I have no friends. Yes. I'll go ahead and take the boxes out so that we can just have them to open up next time. But... Yes, yes. Next time we'll open up with the Team Charm mission special episode. And then we'll just see. We'll do some normal adventure in, see if any other story stuff pops up. And if not... In the next stream I might or like uh, between the next stream and the stream after that if nothing pops up I might look up how to begin the next post game content activation <laughs> it was basically the screw you to intro introverts basically but yeah again the post game is a lot of fun the traps are still <laughs> because traps I've never been a, fu a fan of the trap system in this game and uh, we ran it. We finally ran into a solitary monster house, which feels like a first. Uh, when's the next stream, you wonder? The next stream should be Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, because I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So there'll be a little bit of. <laughs> it'll basically be my weekend from streaming. Post game uh, comes over time. Yep, yep. So basically, you'll just do lots of grinding on streams. Uh, it'll give us opportunity to do the special episodes. I do wish that there was more, like, character interaction. Like, I wish that we saw our reunion with the guild. And I wish that... Yeah, I just wish that there was more character moments. In between the missions and story and stuff. But oh well, that's basically a nitpick. But yeah, I'm enjoying the post game so far. The graduation post-game mission was a lot of fun, and basically was the book ending into the post-game, which I really liked. And then, again, the Shyman village, like a uh, mountain peak, again, was like its own mini story arc, which was cool. And so, yeah, just the post-game so far is interesting, and I hope that continues no idea like it depends on how story motivated I am but we'll definitely give the hundred level ones a shot 
We could always do the Marowak Dojo for grinding if we really, really wanted to. Maybe I could do that on my own time. Who knows? Just buckle up, okay? You got a lot. I'm, I, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that there's a lot of fun post-game. But that'll be for next time. What shenanigans will come across Team Lost Light? We'll have to wait and see. But again, next time we'll open up with the Team Charm special episode and then do some normal adventures to see if we can proc any post-game activation fun times. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree has links to basically everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings. And a direct link to it can be found in the description, bio, and link places of basically any site that I'm on. So if you want to find my edited YouTube content, my YouTube streams, my Twitch streams, or the VODs of those streams, you can find them through there. If you want to see art from me, like my little character in the corner, you can find the various art sites I post to, Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, just tons of places. And then I'm also writing more, so if you want to read the stories I've doth written, those are also in the link tree. And my Patreon, which is a donation bucket if you want to be kind and throw a dollary do and are in a position to do so, well, it's there. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Be true, be you, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Bye-bye. Thank you.